Praise the Lord. Welcome on board. Uncle. You're right. Yeah, I'm good, Uncle. Welcome, Christine. Praise the Lord, Hansen Uncle. How are you? Praise the Lord. I'm good. Yourself? Good, good. Awesome. By the of God, yes. We're doing good. Uh huh. Hi, Joshua. Who's this? Hi, Joshua. Can you hear us? Right. Sneha, shall we have a go at your... Yeah, Uncle, I have to do something else because um, Menti wouldn't work for me the way I wanted it to. So okay. I've done something new. So hopefully it might be, you know, still pretty good. So okay. I'll sh I can, sh yeah, I can, it, it wouldn't work. Like I wanted it to um, give the answers, but it wouldn't like work for me the way I wanted it. So I was like, okay, like I'll try something else the next time. So if you let me screen share, then I can show you what I was planning. No problem. Let me... So guys, uh, actively look for people uh, making trouble. Yeah, check for their. Yeah. So I was. Can I just go? Yeah. Can I just show you? Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Go on. So um, I did a wheel with like like a few questions, and then we'll spin the wheel, and then whoever can answer in the chat can answer it. And you can hear the wheel. We can't see it. You can't see. Okay. One sec. One sec. Right, I'll share again. And then um, it's mostly based on faith. Can you see it now? Oh, yes. Yeah. So we'll give this a shot. And then I've done like a PowerPoint with like um, zoomed up everyday objects. And we'll see if they can guess it. Because, um, I, yeah, Menti wouldn't work for me. Not a problem. That's why I thought we'll test it. Yeah. Like maybe if we test like, yeah. You should have just tested it for a few questions and seen how it works. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and it also depends on what kind of presentation you're making. If it's yeah, a simple I tried, flat one, yeah. I tried to do the uh, picture one on Menti, but I couldn't figure out how to put the pictures on it. Then I was like, okay, maybe you just can't put pictures onto Menti. Like maybe it's just like, you just put it, like you just type in the words. So I was like, on, unless I like dual screen share, but I don't know if that might like work. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think like the answers are going to be anonymous, right? So I, I don't know. I don't know if we should like find something, you know, to solve that because like the answers are anonymous. So like you never know who's like, you know, getting the answer right or wrong. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's this, otherwise we have to like get them to type in their name. And then I found this option of them. Um, they Menti gives you like the top scores. But the only mm -hmm. thing is we have to like, we have to change the activity to fit Menti. So like, like maybe if I sit down with it again, then I can figure it out. So for the next one, I can try to do it. Okay. Yeah. I'll have it ready for the next one. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. if it works for you, yes. Otherwise, uh, don't, don't even worry about it. Um, who are the winners from the last time, please? Or... Uncle, just one sec, yeah? I'll forward it to you. <laughs> yeah, just forward it on WhatsApp so it stays on there. Yeah, I will. Uh, Noel, any questions? Yeah, just to, uh, is the praying for nations at the same time as praying for the friends? Or right. let me look at the schedule. Where have I put you for? Is it? Um, pray for a friend is on at 6.35. You're doing that session, right? 
me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's it's. Is it? Right. Um, somewhere in the middle should be the selfie time. Yeah, sixteen thirty-five is pray for a friend. Then you have an icebreaker. Okay, well, it says pray for a friend. Yeah, uh, yeah let's do both. Okay. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you. Yeah. So that's where you come in and okay. So Christine at that time when uh, as he's doing pray for a friend uh, do the self uh, zoom fee. Okay, cool. After yeah. like after Noel, so yeah, just after Noel gives okay. that, uh, uh, yeah, that presentation. So while people engage with that, yeah, also ask people to do the Zoom thing. Do you guys want to start off with a prayer? Pray amongst yourself. Yeah. Uh, while I do the last minute sharing of the links. Okay. Noel, off with you. you. Okay. Okay. Let's pray. Let's close our eyes and pray. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful time you've given us, Father, Lord. Thanks for helping us, Lord, once again come to your presence this time, Lord. Especially, Father, Lord, submit ourselves into your mighty hands, Father, Lord. As we gather together in your midst, Lord, even though we're in our different places and our different in our homes, Father, Lord, let your Holy Spirit's power and presence be felt among us, Father, Lord. I pray for each and every single one of us, Father, Lord. Submit all the hosts and single everyone into your mighty hands, Father. Bless each and every single one of us, Father, Lord, and all the different programs and sessions that we're leading, Father, Lord. Bless us, Father, Lord. Fill us with your Holy Spirit's power and Holy Spirit's anointing, Father, Lord. Pray for the guest speakers as well, Father. Bless them and guide them, Lord. As shared from the Word of God, Lord, let your Holy Spirit's power and your presence be felt among us, Father, Lord. Let the Word of God touch each and every single one, Father, Lord, and your presence be felt once again, Lord. Pray for many people, Lord, to come and join us today, Father, Lord, and let there be a meeting of true blessings, Father, Lord. Let us be able to hear from the Word of God and take decisions, Lord, and make decisions, Lord, to change our lives according to that, Father. Once again, Lord, I pray for all the all the people once again, Lord. Bless them, Father, Lord. Strengthen them, guide them, Father, Lord. And let your mighty presence be felt among us in the coming, uh, coming hours, of Father, Lord. Strengthen us and guide us, Lord. Thank you so much for giving us this wonderful opportunity, Father, Lord. Uh, once again, somebody all in your mighty hands. I ask all things in Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. So, um, uh, yeah. I'll pray. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Heavenly Father, Jesus, thank you, Lord, for bringing us together into your presence today, Father. Uh, thank you, Lord, for giving us another time to sit and worship, to sit and pray, and to, you know, sit and learn more about you, Lord. Lord, I pray uh, for all those who are working behind these meetings, Father. Father, I pray for the ICPF team, Father. Father, give hands to Uncle and El Elsa and Auntie into your hands, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that you bless them, Father. Thank you, Lord, for all the dedication and the commitment that you have given to them, Father. Thank you, Lord, for the desire that you've given to them in their hearts, Father. Father, I pray that you honor the desires of their heart, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that you use them mightily in the days to come, Father. Father, I pray for today's meeting, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray for the, uh, the people who are preaching to us, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that you bless them, Father. Father, fill them with your wisdom and your knowledge and your grace, Lord Jesus. Help them to impart uh, to us what you have spoke to them, Lord Jesus. Lord, help us to um, implement that into your lives, Lord Jesus. Help us accept uh, what is being said, Lord Jesus, and help us to change what needs to be changed, Father. Father, I pray for all those who are doing different things today, Father. Father, I pray for Christine, who's hosting, Father. Father, I pray for uh, Pastor, who's leading worship, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray for no who's doing the prayers father father i pray that for me who's doing activity lord jesus i pray that i help us to all do it for your glory father father help us not to take any glory for ourselves lord jesus i pray that you implement it uh, that you instill in us the lord jesus a humble heart lord jesus lord, help, help everything that we do for uh for you to be for you lord jesus lord, and we pray 
Father, for all those who are planning on attending today, Father, Father, I pray that you fill them with your presence, Father, help their hearts to be ready to receive, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that you touch them in the ways that you want to, Father, Father, I give everything to your hands. Once again, I ask and pray. Amen. I'll go, yeah. Oh God, my Father Jesus, thank you, Lord Jesus, for having me come into your presence once again. Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful day, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for sharing your blessings, oh God, your loving kindness upon us, Lord Jesus. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for helping us come into your presence once again. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for helping Hansel and, Hansel and Girl God conduct this meeting, Lord Jesus. We ask you, O oh God, to bless men to use him more for your kingdom, Lord. Bless this meeting, O oh God, Jesus. Bless all the participants that join, Lord. Help the, help the word, O oh God, Jesus, to be useful to them, O oh God, Jesus. Help it to touch their hearts, Lord Jesus, and help them to use them, O oh God, or use it, O oh God, Jesus, and to guide them, Lord Jesus, through their path, O oh God, and through their journey, O oh God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for each and every one, O oh God, Jesus, that has joined right now, Lord. Bless Neha, Lord Jesus, for her icebreaker. Bless Noel, O oh God, for all the prayers, Lord Jesus, and help uh, Pastor Jiffy, O oh God, Jesus, to lead us in worship, Lord Jesus. Help us, O oh God, Jesus, to worship you in truth and in spirit, Lord Jesus. Help us to cry out to you, God, Jesus, in times of trouble, Lord Jesus. During this meeting, Lord Jesus, pour down your Holy Spirit upon each and every one of us, Lord. Bless the two speakers, Lord Jesus, Pastor Jiffy and Dr. Samuel, Lord Jesus. Help them, Lord Jesus, to uh, preach, O oh God, Jesus, your word, O oh God, Jesus. Anoint them with your Holy Spirit and help us, O oh God, Jesus, to receive your word today, Lord Jesus. We thank you once again for each and every blessing that you've given upon us, Lord Jesus. Uphold us into your mighty hands, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' most precious name I pray. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for this uh, beautiful evening time you give us to come before your presence of Father. We thank you, Lord. Father, for giving us one more opportunity, of oh, Father, when many perish this week, oh, Lord Father, we thank you, Father, for keeping us safe and sound, oh, Lord Father. We thank you, Father, for giving uh, Christine uh, amazing results, of oh, Father. Lord, we thank you, Father, for all our kids, of oh, Father, that went through exams and were waiting for results. And thank you for the good results that you've given them, of oh, Father. Lord Jesus, uh, even as they seek your face, O oh Lord, about the college that they need to go to or the streams they get into, pray, Lord, Father, that you'll give them divine guidance, O oh Father. We pray, Father, for every participant, every speaker today, Father. We pray for the internet connectivity, O oh Father. We pray for the hosts, Lord. We pray for the activities, O oh Father. We pray, Father, for every uh, uh, person who's taking a decision today, O oh Father, that none will perish, O oh Father, that, Lord, every one of them will be saved, O oh Father. We pray, Lord Jesus, Lord, that we'll be able to touch many lives, O oh Father, uh, through this, O oh Father, Lord, uh, Lord, Father God, Lord, that at least, O oh Lord, Father, some, Lord, we'll be able to claim some from this land, O oh Father, some, Lord, uh, people in our community, O oh Father, some uh, people that are seeking, Lord, are depressed, are looking to you, O oh Father. Lord, um, uh, those that have not faith, O oh Father, we pray, Lord, that we will be able to bring faith in their hearts, O oh Father. Those that, Lord, uh, are in depression, O oh Father, we, that we'll be able to bring hope into their lives, O oh Father. Those that are anxious, O oh Father, that they will understand that, Lord, you fulfill all our desires, O oh Father, that you are able to meet all the needs, of oh Father. Lord Jesus, we pray especially for the speakers of Father, that they'll not be well into the word of Father, that they'll be, Lord, humble, the Lord Father, that they'll be uh, the true transmitters of your voice of Father, that, Lord, they'll be able to, um, Lord, let us know, Lord, what you want to um, do, Lord Father, Lord, that is what is in your heart of Father. <coughs> Lord, we come into Lord Father. Lord, all the um, people that we prayed for in the past, all the countries that we paid, prayed for in the past, oh, Father, uh, for Nepal, for uh, Syria, for the U.S., oh, Lord, especially the elections over there, Father, for the United Kingdom, of oh, Father, for, Lord, each of these countries, of oh, Father, for India, Lord, uh, for Iraq, 
<clears throat> Lord, all those countries that we prayed about, Kuwait, oh Father, we pray a blessing on the, uh, those countries, oh Father, that Lord Father, that they will be saved, oh Father, that Lord, they will be able to reach them uh, with your love, oh Father. Lord, this evening time, oh Father, even as we spend uh, a couple of hours in your presence, oh Father, we pray, Lord, Lord, you saturate us with your love, Father. Uh, bless us, O oh Father. Help us, Lord, to really feel your presence, O oh Father. Lord, not that we are, uh, Lord, um, uh, online, Lord, but that we are really in your presence, O oh Father. This evening time, O oh Father, we come at ourselves. We humble ourselves in your midst, O oh Father. Use us for your glory's sake. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Yeah, it looks like uh, Noel... Uh, yeah, in about uh, six minutes, you should uh, start and pray. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Joshua, are you there? Can you unmute yourself and uh, put your video on so we can see you and interact with you? Every Father, I thank you for this wonderful day, Lord. Thank you for giving us Lord, this Lord meeting, Lord. You have Lord, helped us, Lord, gather, Lord, here today, Lord, for this meeting, Lord. I pray for this, Lord, as we are attending these meetings, Lord. I pray for whoever these, whoever is uh, attending these meetings, Lord. I pray for them, Lord. Bless them, Lord, and keep them safe, Lord. I pray for those who are coordinating these meetings, Lord. Bless them too, Lord. I pray for this meeting to go as well as planned, Lord. And even better, Lord. I pray for those who are contacting them, Lord. Bless them and keep them safe, Lord. I pray for Lord, as we are online, Lord. We are not able to see each other, Lord. As we are able to see each other online, Lord. Lord help us, Lord, to be able to worship and praise in England and help us Lord, to come closer to the word of God Lord helps to Lord, uh, maintain a great relationship with you Lord and helps to keep him going closer to you Lord I thank you Jesus Lord bless each and one of us Lord and keep each and one of those who are Lord, going to Lord who are planning Lord to attend the meeting so bless them Lord help them Lord to be able to attend them Lord in time Lord I pray for the Lord messages there are Lord I pray for those Lord the preachers Lord, who are going to Lord, Lord Spread the word, Lord. Help them, Lord, to keep on Lord, spreading the Lord, gospel to others, Lord. Help us to encourage others, Lord, to come to the faith, Lord, and be saved, Lord. Help us, Lord, to spread the good news to others, Lord. And help others to learn from the word of God, too, Lord. And help them to be saved, Lord, from all this Lord, evil as well, Lord. Help them be saved through the blood of Lord, our Savior, Christ Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Bless each and one of you, Lord. All the members of our Lord, all our, those who are going to attend, Lord, bless them and keep them safe, Lord. I pray for that to be a good day today, Lord. I pray for the connection there is, Lord. I pray for the connection to be, Lord, very good, Lord. I pray for, Lord, that helps all Lord, to be able Lord, to hear the Lord message, Lord, clearly, Lord, and the worship clearly, Lord. And I thank you, Jesus, for every, uh, everything, Lord, we do in this Lord, meeting, Lord. Lord. Bless those who attend, Lord, and keep each one of safe, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Three minutes to go. Next week we're planning on uh, uh, generations, generation gap. What are your thoughts on that? It's good, Uncle. It's good. It's needed. It's needed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like br I'm like brutally honest. Like I just need to give you a head heads up. No, I want you to be brutally honest. Otherwise, we won't get the right uh, things done, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It just doesn't come out like you know. Sometimes my parents are always like, "You need to fit a sensor," you know. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. brutally honest. Yeah, that's the way we, we want it because you know there's no point in hiding it and saying, "Oh yeah, good, 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 good," and then. You know, uh, we don't do anything relevant. There is no use of go, going the way uh, churches go, where you know it's always either prosperity or healing. Or, you know, yeah. Like that. Yeah. Even actually, you know the you know the um seven the the one that we had last week, the marriage one. I had like um 
uh, this girl that I met uh, from Kindle, she messaged me here privately and she was giving me questions. But by then the Q&A had ended and I was like, oh, uh, I'll pass it on to like our uncle or like I can give you like, you know, the contact details for pastor himself or something. Because she was like, oh, you know, like he was being so, he was giving us a new approach towards the whole thing. So she was like, I really want to ask him some questions. Yeah, so, there, was, yeah. There, there was this link for the Slido, isn't it? But, I mean, yeah, well, no, she, but she, was she joined there. from, no, no, she joined from Facebook Live. Oh. Yeah. No. yeah okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, I think she saw my face and she like messaged me privately. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll like pass it on to you. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you should have passed her, passed her the link so she could have been part of this. Yeah. Yeah. No, I gave her that, but she was like, oh, like, can you just tell him? And I was like, oh, I don't want to, like, interrupt and be like, you know. Yeah, and it was an amazing interaction with Pastor Chokes, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It he was, was just so open, you know. Yes, yes. I mean, to get somebody from, uh, you know, I, I, I know him for the last... Uh, 20 years. So, uh, you know, I know what his angle is. So I was, but some other church pastor you put on the spot might not give you the same, uh, you know, answers. Uh, hopefully, um, Esther is going to do the slider today. She's going to be asking the questions, right? Yes, yes. And um, there's no, um, sorry, I have one more question. There's no prayer for nations this, for this meeting, right? Come again? Um, there's no prayer for nations, like the there, session. There is. No there's, one's doing it. Yeah. He's doing it on Sri Lanka. Okay. When is that? Sorry, I didn't see it in the time. Uh, it's, it's not listed. So, okay. uh, if possible, along with the uh, prayer for friends. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. we bring the Zoom fee and pray for friends. And okay. if we have time, we'll do it then. <coughs> or we do, we'll do it towards the end. Okay. You, know, you getting it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So uh, even with the speakers, please be on the alert to spotlight them and put the speaker mode on, okay? Yeah. yeah we already have Sister Sonia there. Uh, yes. Welcome, Sister Sonia. Um, thank you. Thank you. Right. Noel, I think we are one minute late. Okay, let's start. Okay. okay. Let's close our eyes and pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful time given us, our Lord. Thank you so much, of our Lord, helping us to once again come into your presence, of our Lord. As we have gathered together alone in your presence, of Lord, for this ICP of session, of our Lord. Bless us and guide us, of our Lord. Help us, your presence, be within our midst at all times, of our Lord. Pray for all those people, all those young people who are coming to our midst, Lord, gathering together. Lord. Bless each and every single one of them, of our Lord. Let the word of God that they hear today, Lord, touch their hearts, Lord. Make them take many decisions, of Lord, which can change their lives, of our Lord. Pray for our guest speakers of our Lord, bless them and guide them of our Lord, strengthen them of our Lord as they speak from the word of God, let your mighty presence be upon them, O Lord, let them be able to touch the hearts of many young people today, of our Lord pray for all the people who are hosting of our Lord, bless them and guide them, O Lord let your mighty presence be felt by us, among us at all times of our Lord, let your presence be with us from the start till the very end of our Lord and as a meeting be a blessing to every single person, O Lord, let it be a touching experience to every single person of our Lord, guide us and strengthen us of our Lord, let your presence be continually upon us of our Lord, pray for all the worship people who are leading the worship as well, Lord, Pastor who is leading the worship, Lord, bless them and guide them as well as our Lord, strengthen them as well as our Lord, let your continual presence be upon us at all times of our Lord. Once again, I want to thank you for all the great things you've done for us, of our Lord, even though we, there are many people in this world who have passed away, our Lord, in the past week of our Lord, but you have given us the, because only your grace and mercy awesome. every day, our Lord. Continue being with us and guiding us, of our Lord. Once again, our Lord, submit all these mighty hands. I ask all things in Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Praise the Lord. Greetings to all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, my name is Christine and it's just great to see um, so many people here. There are a few familiar names. 
um, and it's just great to see you all. And I would like you all um, to turn on your videos if you're able, so I can see all your faces. It will just be great, you know, to see you all again, especially when we're like at home, stuck at home, can't do anything. Um, it's just great to uh, see like so many people from many places. And to make this like a little bit more interactive, I want you guys to type in your name and where you're from in the chat box, okay? When you have time. So um, my name is Christine, I'm from Dublin, Ireland. And yeah, it would be great to get some responses on that. Um, and I hope you guys uh, like the topic for today, Mustard Seed Faith. Um, it's such a unique topic. Um, faith is such uh, an important aspect in our Christian lives. Uh, There's so many responses coming now. Hanson Uncle Corby UK, Sneha Dublin, um, Luton um, UK, or Northern Ireland. It's just great to see you all once again. And yeah, so um, our, our meeting today is based on uh, Matthew 17, 20. So if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, nothing is impossible for you, amen. And that's our topic for today. So uh, towards the end of the two meetings, um, we're gonna be having a Q&A session and that's gonna be on Slido. So if you could um, give me the link, uh, give us the link on the chat box. And our code is going to be SMS, all small letters. So whenever you have a question related to this topic, just uh, go to Slido, go to the link that Hanson Engel is going to send you there. Um, uh, put in that code, SMS, small letters, and yeah, you'll get it. So um, I'm just going to uh, thank everyone once again. There's so many people joining now. Thank you all for coming. Thanks to the global audience um, that are coming from various pla uh, platforms like Facebook and YouTube. And it's just great to see you all. And uh, I thank especially both of the speakers that are here with us today, Dr. Samia Praise and uh, Pastor J.P. Yohanan. And I'm excited to hear your, the worship session also excited to hear uh, from both of you, and it's just great to see you both. Um, so now we're gonna move on to our worship, and for that, I would like to kindly call upon Pastor Jiffy to lead us in worship. Thank you. Okay, um, can you give me the permission to share a screen? Yeah, I think you can do it now, Pastor. Right. Uh, thank you for this uh, uh, opportunity. Uh, especially, I thank my dear brother uh, uh, Hanson uh, for giving me this opportunity to be with you all. Uh, so great uh, to be with, especially youngsters. I'm so uh, fond to be with youngsters to speak to them and uh, to sing songs together. So let's uh, worship God right now. Uh, let's sing some songs that you know we usually know the normal songs that we already know. So let's sing the songs and uh, let's worship God. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let me show you some uh, songs over here. And then... All right. <clears throat> okay. us and repeat. If you all know these songs, the old songs, so yeah. Okay, so let's sing the song and give glory to God. If we. Yes. Can you hear me? Is the voice clear? Yes, yes. Okay, let's give all glory and honor to God. Come on, 
I think some people, uh, you have made me the host. I think some people are waiting in the waiting room. Uh, am I the only host? Is there anybody else to receive them? Yeah, don't worry about that, Pastor. It's fine. Uh, there yeah. are people on the job, so it's grand. Don't worry. It's coming on my screen, so I thought, uh, you know, they're not being welcome. But... Yeah, yeah, don't worry about that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We will worship the maker of all things, Almighty God, to you a voice to say.
to our Holy One, Father, Spirit, Son, King of kings and Lord of lords. Come on, sing it together. To our Holy One, Father, Spirit, Son, King of kings and Lord of lords. Pastor Jiffy, for that amazing worship, it was so blessed, and I feel that uh, the Holy Spirit was moving um, in, this, in His presence, because when two or three people gather in my name, I'm in their midst, says the Lord, so it was just great. Uh, thank you for that, and may God uh, use you more for His kingdom, and it's great, because um, He's going to be, um, you know, preaching to us as well later on uh, for this meeting, so um I'm excited to hear uh, from you again. So uh, stay tuned, okay? So we're heading on to the Word Now, the main session. And I would like to kindly welcome Dr. Uh, Saumia to um, share the Word. Dr. Saumia, she's a believer of Kent uh, Pentecostal Church. And her husband, uh, Pastor Praise Vargis, is an assistant pastor in that church. And they have two amazing kids, Abia Praise and Adrian Praise. And she has completed her PhD in pharmacy um, from University of Kent and now works as a research scientist in a pharmaceutical company. She's also a high street preacher and they both work for the kingdom of God among, you know, uh, kids and youngsters um, from around the world. So I would like to kindly call upon Dr. Uh, Samia to uh, share the word with us. Over to you, Dr. Thank you, Christine, uh, for the kind introduction for me. Um, I welcome all of you in the um, gracious name of our Lord Jesus Christ to the session. Uh, and I'm so excited um, uh, that uh, to share this word of God with you, to share my testimony uh, on, on uh, the topic that we chose as SMS, a small um, uh, mustard seed faith. And I will be talking um, about um, uh, specifically on facts or faith. Um, and uh, I would like to uh, thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity to, to share the word of God. And I just would like to testify um, and add to it that um, I was a part of, um, uh, I was someone who was so much blessed through ICPF when I was um, in my teens. Um, and maybe it's around 21 years back where it was one of the ICPF meeting where I um, uh, submitted 
appeared uh, uh, for min ministry in one of the altar calls. So um, I thank God for enabling after these many years in the same platform, maybe when I was submitting to God on that um, uh, altar calls and crying out, God has seen me so near to some angers like this. Thank God for that. And uh, um, I would like to um, uh, kindly take your attention to the key words that I would like to call, uh, to read. So if somebody could read from me, is Second Corinthians five seven. So um, can somebody read that for me from Second Corinthians five seven? Yeah, sure. For we live by faith and not by sight. So this is the key verse that I would like to, to focus on, that we are called to have a walk with God in faith with God. So we are not walking by facts or we are not walking by sight, but we are walking by faith. And why, why, does it, why is it so important for us? And, and when I was praying about this, God enlightened me about this uh, with respect to the people and the audience that I'm talking to, where, where they are living. They are living in a world where more than 50% of people around them are atheists. They don't believe. They, they are based their life uh, on facts, they don't go by faith. So when you proclaim that you are a believer and when you want to declare your faith to them, they sometimes call you, you know, either silly or they call you ignorant or maybe they call, you know, they, they call you superstitious. So uh, I've, I uh, uh, feel that most of the youngsters find this a bit challenging to accept this, uh, this, this uh, uh, you know, the, the, the fact, uh, in their life, you know, and um, uh, so uh, we are living in a world that is based on facts. So, so what are what is facts? Facts, as as I can as, as as it is shown in the screen, it is something that is known or proved to be true. So uh, our world is based on facts. We live in a world where the economy is based on facts. We, we live in this world where the COVID statistics are made on facts. The government strategies are made on facts. Uh, the doctors uh, make your health predictions based on facts. So this is supposed to be something to be true, to be proved to be true. But can these facts be always be the truth or always the facts be the truth? So I'm a scientist, I can say that always the, in the history, if you, if you look back into, into the scientific world, today's facts is tomorrow's foolishness. So one of the examples I just want, want to point out was, was in the times there were many, many years that people believed that the earth was, uh, was square shaped rather than, than round. And later on, then uh, there was some, someone who came to prove that it is round, it is round shaped rather than square. So you know that the facts for today, once more uh, inventions comes tomorrow, it will be a foolishness. And just like uh, 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 another theory uh, that we all point upon is, uh, you know, the natural selection and the evolution theory. And there are lots of inventions later on in this world that have come up to show that these facts, that this being, you know, he, he was very successful in illustrating a lot of things, but in fact, this is not there are a lot of books written out, there are a lot of theories, there are lots of uh, inventions made to prove that that is always not true. So if we are uh, trusting or basing our lives based on just facts, what will happen? What does the Bible teaches us? The Bible teaches us is to have faith. So, uh, and here Paul is urging us to live a, a life which is based not on sight, or rather not on facts, but based on faith. So the Bible says that the faith, the faith, what is faith? Hebrew 11, one, if somebody could read that for me. Now faith is the assurance of the things we hope for and the certainty of what we don't see. So in simple words, it is simply, God is asking us to have faith 
And what is faith? Faith is having assurance of what we hope for. Means having confidence in what we don't see or being certain of what we don't see. So what we are what we are having faith. We are having faith in our day-to-day -day life. We go to the doctors and he prescribe a medicine. You take it with having a faith in him. You have this, uh, uh, this prescription given to you and a drug. You take it, believing it. You go in an airplane. You, you, have, you put your faith in, in, in somebody who is driving it, whom you don't see. So you are practicing in everyday life. But what does it mean when it says in, uh, in Hebrews 11.1 1, that you need to be certain about something that we don't see. And this is where it contradicts to the facts, where facts is based only on something that you have, you know, that you have something that you see. But God is inviting you to live a faith a life which is based on faith. And what do you need to believe? You need to believe the God. The God how can you believe the God who created the heavens and the earth? And in, in Hebrews 11, 3, you can see that from the, since the creations of the world, God's invisible, in, invisible qualities, his eternal power and the divine nature, which is not seen. You cannot see God. You cannot see his qualities. You cannot see his eternal power. You cannot see his divine nature, but it is clearly, clearly seen in what he has made, what he has made in this world. And that is why we are here. And what, that is why wherever God places you, for you to to, uh, uh, to understand the creations, to understand who you are, maybe the body that you are in, or maybe the cell that you have in your body, and maybe the universe and the phenomenon of the universe that enable you to understand who God is. And is that what the list that, that Paul says in, in Hebrew 11, you know, it shows a big list of things that what we need to uh, uh, to, under, uh, to believe in Hebrew eleven six. You again see that faith. You know you cannot please God without having faith. You you have to accept. So so to my youngsters who are listening, maybe there are there are people who are thinking that you know if God will do a miracle to me or if you, God comes in front of me, I will believe in Him. And this is the verse that I want to tell you, that it is impossible to please God. It is impossible to achieve a miracle from God if you don't have faith in him. Simply believe in him. Simply believe the unseen. Simply believe when God says, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. You just have to simply believe to see the provisions of God, the miracles of God in your life. And if you are asking for a miracle in front of your faith, then that is not the way that God has designed your relationship with God or your faith life um, according to what the Bible teaches us. So first comes your faith. So without faith, without believing, without believing God, the creator, without believing the God who sets everything you cannot please anyone so i just want to go forward and to say that what you need you know it is it you you can see in the life of sarah you know it, it she, when she heard when the angels told about the story you know she started laughing looking at the facts because a hundred year old man and a 90 year old woman has no probability according to the facts that she can have baby but god said i will turn that into a miracle i will you know god said is there anything impossible for me i can turn that uh, into a miracle and you will have a baby and like and I, I want to stress this uh, this example of uh, 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 Paul you know look at Paul he was a he was a murderer he he was a, he was a hate you know Christian hatred he he persecuted Christians and later you can see that you know um, if Paul was looking by his facts he would have never had a miracle in his life. He would have never had a book written. But you know what God did? God did, God mixed the facts with some faith.
and he gave him the faith, the revelation of who Christ is. And that is where you can see the miracle happening and turning him around into a believer, into a, 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 a miraculous believer that ever seen in the Christianity. And this is what, again, I want to bring you to the, to the example of David. If you look at the David, uh, you know, you are too small. You are too insignificant. You are too inexperienced in front of, too young, in front of uh, the, the, the giant Goliath. And you can see that God turns that into a miracle because that small boy was ready to put his faith first in the God who is able to do abundantly and exceeding, exceeding of his powers. And that is what, and another, another example where I would like to give you is the lady who was ready to come um, to Jesus. You know, she was, people said that she is a disgrace. People said that, you know, she, she has my husband. She's not good to deal with. But what God did, God, God said to her, you know, if she has the faith, I can get rid of the shame. And so this is what I want to urge you, my little friends listening to me. So if, you know, in your life, in your life, you have learned lots of things from the Bible, lots of stories. You've been learning about God uh, uh, from your parents. Maybe uh, in your life, have you experienced this revelation of Christ to have this faith in him? If you're ready, uh, you can see that, you know, in, in the Bible, where when it says walk by faith, it doesn't say that feel by faith. It is not an emotion. It says something more than that. What does it say more than that? It says that we need to have an action. So I just want to uh, bring in your attention to one example where in Matthew 11, 29 to 20, uh, 29, 27 to 29, can somebody read the example of um, um, All things have been delivered to, be, to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father. Nor does anyone know the Father except the Son, and the one to whom the Son wills to reveal him. Is that Matthew 9, 27? Sorry, that when Jesus departed from there, two blind men followed him, crying out and saying, Son of David, have mercy on us. And when he had come into the house, the blind man came to him. And Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, yes, Lord. So here you can see that, you know, there are Pharisees, there are people, the religious leaders could not understand the revelation of Christ. But these blind men, they are calling upon Jesus and asking him, asking him that son of David, they had the revelation. So I want to urge you that to receive a miracle from God, to receive your miracles, the catalyst for you is the faith of revelation of who Christ is. And if you have these small faith in simple steps, in small, small things, in the small, small experience that you face today, God will be, bring big, big miracles through you by increasing your faith. So I just want to say an example where if I place my baby in front of the table and ask him to jump, initially he used to come closer and ask me to come closer because he did not rely on my, uh, uh, me or trust me. But when uh, uh, once he catches and comes to me, you know later on now when I place him he comes and jumps not even before I, I show hands so this shows that if you are ready to practice your little faith today later on in life when big big troubles comes when temptations comes maybe it is some sinful nature that you want to have your faith to come over to be stronger and and, and overcome it God will do big, big miracles in your life based on your small, small faith. It can be a very small faith, but there are some actions that requires from your side to, uh, uh, to, to get this miracle from God. And these men had these revelations and they call upon God. And later on, in, uh, in another example, if you could look, look into... Um, um, uh, the lady who ha who have been bleeding for twelve years. If you read those uh, those uh, sessions, you can see that that lady 
heard about Jesus. So, so in the word, the uh, the works it says that faith comes from hearing the word of God. The faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God. The so same like a news came to this lady that the Jesus is coming to um, you know to uh, to the um, to that place where she was, and she had all her money lost because of her bleeding, and she had this faith that she was not focusing on the facts, but she was ready to go forward, uh, you know, not minding the crowd and ready to touch, the, uh, touch Jesus and get the healing. So there are some steps where you need to take in your few steps uh, towards getting your miracle. And that is what that steps that she took uh, towards the faith, not looking into the facts and approaching to Jesus with her belief and she received the miracle. And I want to conclude here by um, uh, encouraging you. You know, I was a youngster who had to look at my facts. I never been a believer. I was born in a Hindu family and I never had a background where I could come to this level in my life to any extent, but there were situations where the people around me asked me, you know, what will be your future? Who will come and marry you? What will happen to your life? I had my father forsaking me for my beliefs into Christ. I had my whole family, you know, uh, isolating us. I came from a very poor family, but God, because I was ready to not focus on my facts in front of me. I focused on the God who said, never will I leave you, nor forsake you. I was ready to believe and trust in him. I was ready to focus only on him. My uncle said to me once that who will come and marry you? In, after you know, 15 to 18 years, God answered that a four generation Christian, a pastor married me and gave us an answer to the questions that they were asking. And they asked me, what will be your future? God placed me in one of the top, top universities to place my research and gave me abandoned blessings where I can never imagine to have. This was only a 13 year old be, uh, 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 youngster ready to believe not on the facts, but on the faith. And I want to encourage you, my dear friends, if you're facing your life with difficulties, you're thinking that you're your, 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 you know, your opportunities are less. Your sin is too much, but have your faith, a little faith as you can into Jesus and his abilities. God can do miracles. There is nothing impossible for him. He can do anything for you. And that is where your blessing belongs to. And with these words, may God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Samia, for that heart-touching message and testimony. It really is heart-touching. Um, and living in a, in a world where there are so many, uh, so many uh, atheists, agnostics that believe in facts only, uh, that believe in things that we only see. Um, it is hard to live in a world like that, but what we should know is that we know a God that even though he's not there, he's working miracles day and day for us. So we should be able to increase our faith. We should be able to pray for that faith. And faith comes from hear hearing the word of God. So we should be um, sharing our faith to other people as well so that they may be able to get saved as well. So thank you for that beautiful message, Dr. Samia. May God bless you and use you more for his kingdom. And I just want to remind you guys, if you have any questions related to this topic, just uh, head on to the link that is provided in the chat box. Um, the code is SMS, all small letters. And all you have to do is type your um, And now we are heading on to our pray for and pray for friends um, with Brother Noel. So over to you, Noel. Thank you, Christine. Thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, now is the time for uh, praying for the nations and praying for our friends. So uh, first of all, I want to greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So this is a very important time for us. Um, and we're going to submit ourselves and spend some time in prayer and talking to God and praying for the nations and praying for our friends. So first of all, uh, should I start by uh, praying for the nations or praying for the friends? Sorry. 
Um, you can start with praying for the nations. Okay, okay, that's great. Thank you. So this week, uh, I've chosen uh, to pray for the nation of Sri Lanka. We've all heard of it. So I can just, uh, if it's okay, I'll share my screen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope you can all see my screen. Yeah, thank you. So we're going to pray for the nation of Sri Lanka. I hope you have all heard of it. It's a nation very close to India. It's found to the south of India. And it's called the Teardrop of India because it's shaped, the island is shaped like a teardrop. So it is a nation which is very close to India and uh, it has a lot of cultural similarities to care to the southern part of India. So it is very similar to us in many ways. So we're going to pray for this nation today. So first of all, I just want to update you on the nation's uh, COVID cases, first of all. So, um, COVID-19 has not been too bad in Sri Lanka compared to India. It is though they've only had 3,140 cases and only 12 deaths. So it's comparatively low compared to India and the near, near nearby nations and countries to the island so that is a good great thing to hear and 2946 people have recovered from COVID-19 so again a great statistic and shows how that they have got a pretty good control over the disease at the current time but millions of people have lost their jobs due to the impact coronavirus has had on the country and the economy of the country so let us pray and remember them all the people who have lost their livelihoods due to the coronavirus uh, pandemic here, here all, over, all over the world, but especially in the country of Sri Lanka. And the country, as I said, has been largely been able to control the spread of the disease. But let us pray that it does not increase again like it has, in, for example, here in the UK or many other places in the world, so that they can keep a good control of the virus. So just want to give you a brief uh, d detail explanation of how the evangelism took started in the country of uh, Sri Lanka. So as you can hear, read here, as I did a bit of research, Christianity came to Sri Lanka during the time of the European colonism, and in 1505, uh, the Portuguese introduced the Roman, ca Roman Catholicism, and in the mid-1600s, the Dutch ousted the Portuguese and brought the Dutch Reformed Church into Sri Lanka, and the Dutch control ceded over their territory to the British in 1802, and the British were the ones who introduced the Anglican Methodist Baptist Salvation Army churches into the nation, and they still have many ministries going on in the country at the moment, including evangelism, church planting, schools, and other different social services. And since the independence of the country in 1948, three social forces were overlaid uh, over the European history, and that is the Sinhali and Tamil Civil War, a resurgent Buddhist church and nationalism, and an evangelist, evangelical revival led by the new and independent churches. So there's a great history of the evangelism taking place in the country of Sri Lanka and many people who do know the word of God and do, do, do know the name of Jesus Christ and have a lot of belief but let us continue to pray for the revival and the many more people knowing the word of God in the coming days in that nation so the prayer points for today is the controlling let us pray for the efficient control of the COVID-19 cases in the country of Sri Lanka let us know pray that the cases do not once again increase in the nation like they have in many other places and many other countries in the world we can see many other countries where the cases have gone up but let's pray that Sri Lanka is able to control the cases and it does not rapidly increase once again let's pray for the revival in the country or that many people more once again come to the presence of God come to the salvation of Jesus Christ hear from the word of God be touched by his mighty power and let us let that lead to a revival in the country like before and let us pray for the growth and the of the existing evangelism ministries that are taking place in Sri Lanka, many I know there's many ministries that are taking place, child, child ministries, uh, many other evangelism, evangelism ministries that are taking place in the nation at the moment. So let's pray for them, and that they keep on growing. That many people can continue being used by God's power to spread the word of God to the people in Sri Lanka, and that the word of God is spread to every single person in the, uh, in Sri Lanka. And no one does not hear the word of God. Every single power, person in the country is able to hear the word of God and that the evangelism ministries are able to do that. And I finally pray for the livelihoods and the protection of the people, of local people of Sri Lanka. As I said, many people have lost their jobs because of this COVID-19 crisis. Many people have lost their livelihoods. A country, an island nation, uh, they're susceptible to floods, many natural disasters and calamities. We let us pray that God's protection is upon them, that they are able to keep their livelihoods and their safety is always with them at all times. So let us pray for these four points 
and uh, so submit the nation to your, uh, the hands of God so that God stretches out his mighty hand and protects them and delivers them from all these troubles, all these problems, and answers all their prayers. So this time, can I please ask uh, Joshua Matthew, if he's there, to please pray for all these prayer points and pray for the nation of Sri Lanka as a whole. Please. Thank you. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this Lord meeting, Lord, you have gave us Lord today, Lord, thank you Jesus for helping us, Lord, have the Lord, you Lord today, Lord, I thank you, Lord, Lord, help us, Lord, Lord, thank you, Lord, for Lord, helping us, Lord, from this message, oh, Lord, we have learned, Lord, I pray for us, we like, Lord, I pray for all the nations, Lord, Lord, I pray for the topics, Lord, that we are supposed to learn, Lord, we are supposed to learn, take heart, Lord, we are supposed to take note in our heart, Lord, Hallelujah. Lord, and help us, Lord, to Lord, feel grateful for what we have, Lord, other countries, Lord, Lord, many people, Lord, are losing their jobs are losing other ones or the near and dear ones are the many are like, losing their lives so many are getting cases so i pray for all those countries so i pray for sri lanka especially lord i pray for uh, like, there to be a lot of special revival of lord there lord and in other countries so, lord, i pray for all of this to happen lord i pray for anything that we pray lord help it all to be according to your plans are and i pray for it to be lord, Amen. lord i thank you jesus i bless the meeting lord i pray for the rest of the meeting lord, to be good lord i pray for like each and the nation to our Lord. I pray for each and one for those who are like attending these meetings, so bless them, Lord. I pray for those who are uh, coordinating these meetings, so bless them too, Lord. Help them Lord, to coordinate these meetings, so Lord, and help them Lord, to take care of one another, Lord. Help us Lord, to take care of one another, Lord. And you and dear ones, sir, and help us Lord, to look after one another, Lord. Whatever the government, or Lord, whatever those who are older than us, Lord, tell us to do, Lord. Help us Lord, to do what they are telling us to do, Lord. And help us to do, Lord, and keep, Lord, each and one of us, Lord, safe, Lord. Help us to, Lord, take care of one another, Lord, and help us, Lord to try and help one another, Lord. Help us, Lord, to Lord, encourage others, Lord, to come to the faith, Lord. Be safe, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, Lord. I pray for Lord, the Lord. messages there, Lord, 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 as we are learning something, Lord. Give us, Lord, the wisdom, Lord, and knowledge, Lord. Lord, fill us with Lord, your spirit, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Bless each and one of us, Lord, once again, Lord. I pray for this meeting, Lord. Pray for those who attend, Lord, or Lord, not attended yet, Lord, and are planning to, Lord, help them, Lord, to attend the well, world, Lord. I pray for each and one of us and keep us safe, Lord. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you very much. Amen. So, that, that now we let us, it's also time for us to um, pray for our friends. So, as we've, if you've all been joining us in the past few weeks, we've been praying for uh, two of our friends. So if you go on to menti.com and use the code that is uh, being shared on the screen at the moment, if you go to menti.com, type in the code and just uh, type in two, two friends' names that you have, type in their names into the, uh, into the screen, onto the website and it will come up and we're just going to pray for our friends. I mean, those, it could be people who you are in church, in your school, in your university, anywhere, any people you know, as I said, friends, neighbors, relatives, classmates, any even enemies who, who you do, who you know, let's let's just put down two names and we'll pray for them. And we can remember God's and we can ask God to touch them, to deliver them, to uh, speak to them and let's just, just do our job. And with faith, we know that God will deliver them, talk to them and uh, touch them. So let us put down the two names that you have to of anyone you know, and we can pray for them at this time. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. We're seeing many people coming up. That's good. Keep on coming. Keep them coming. As many names as possible. We will pray for them. Yeah, just go on to the website, Menti, and type in the code. And type in the names of those two people you want to pray for. Yes, that's good. Okay, good. It's good. I can see a lot of more names. That's very good. So I think at this time I'll can if we can ask uh, I'll ask uh, if Irene's there. If I can ask Irene to please pray for all these names here and for all our friends and family and relatives and and everyone we know uh, that I can ask her to please pray for these people at this moment. Please, thank you. 
Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for enabling us to gather in your presence. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for enabling us to have another blessed day in our lives, Lord, where many people weren't able to see in daily hours this morning. Lord, thank you, Lord, for your mercy and grace that has followed us this to this minute, Lord. It's not because we're special, Lord. It's not because we deserve it, Lord. Rather, it's your unending love. It's your unending mercy that's allowed us to sit here, Lord. Time and time again, when we fall short, Lord, time and time again, when we fall short of the calling that you give us, Lord, you prove yourself to be a faithful God. You prove yourself to be a loving God by allowing us to return back into your presence, by allowing us, Lord, to be able to return back to the refuge of your wings as we're sitting here to praise you, Lord. We pray for each and every person mentioned here today, Lord, for all the friends here, for all the neighbors and relatives and classmates and enemies and every single individual that is mentioned here, Lord. Whatever situation they're facing, Lord, whether that's health issues or whether that's in regards to coming to faith or whatever issues whatever problems whatever reason they're being prayed for we submit them into your hands lord we pray that lord you take up their case lord lord we pray and ask that you take up their case into your hands lord and revive them lord provide them with the answers provide them with the healings provide them lord with the ways and 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 and, and the salvation that they require lord i pray in these days lord that you'll speak to these people i pray especially for those that are still yet to come to faith lord i submit them into your hands lord i pray that lord your your word interacts with them in these days lord i pray that lord the words what words you your, the words from your uh, from the Bible, Lord, interact with them, Lord, and speak to them, Lord, and touch their hearts and bring them closer to salvation, Lord. I pray that, Lord, you'll use each and every person here today, Lord, who have submitted them into your hands, Lord. Use them, Lord, to be able to spread and evangelize and bring people to Christ, Lord. At this time, I pray for all those that are mentioned in regards to healing, Lord. I pray that, Lord, in these in these days, Lord, let your healing hand come upon each and every one of them, Lord, and heal them, Lord, from every physical physical problems that they're facing, Lord. I pray in these days your healing power, your your cleansing power comes upon them and I pray for all those that are facing difficult times Lord whether that's through mental health whatever other situations it may be okay. whether financial problems whatever situation that you, they're facing Lord you're a good God Lord they're your good friend that we can lean upon Lord when people fail in this world when situations when when society fails us Lord you're a good God that we can return to you're a good God that we can trust time and time again I pray in these days your peace that transcends all understanding comes upon each and every one of these individuals in all areas of their lives once again we ask that you take them into your hands, Lord, and bless each and every person that submitted them into, into your hands, submitted them for prayer, Lord. I pray that, Lord, you bless them, Lord, the concerns that you've given them in your hearts, Lord, the desire that you've given into their hearts to pray for them. I pray that once again, you'll use these children of God to be able to spread your word, to be able to bring oh, peace yes. and comfort to a lot more people. And once again, we ask you all of this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Irene. Thank you very much. And, uh, Thank you everyone for who prayed and God bless you and I'll hand it back over to Christine. Thank you very much. Thank you Noel for that powerful prayer session and may God bless you and use you more for his kingdom. Uh, so now we're just going to go and head on for a Zoom fee if Hanson Engel's there with us. So could you please turn on your videos for a little Zoom fee? It'd be great. Thank you. Hansen Nungle, you're muted. Why put the Zoom fee on me? Come on, Georgie, Michels, uh, Christina, Joanne, put on your videos. Come on, guys. Aha, Sharon. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Georgie. Thank you. Put on, put on your video, guys. Fantastic, fantastic. Come on, come on. Come on, everyone. Round one, I'm gonna go with the screenshot. Okay, on a different computer. Okay, going one, two, and three. Okay, that's the first screen. Let me go to the second screen. Oh, there's more people here. Wow. Come on, Joshua and Matthew, put on your video if you can. Adam, yeah, put on your video if you can. Okay, going to page two, keeping the shot ready, guys. Here we go. Thank you, everyone. Brilliant. God bless. Back to you, Christine. Thank you guys for turning your videos on for that. And um, just a little thing, um, in your free time, uh, could you please fill out the feedback form? 
um, on what we could do differently, what you liked about the session. It's only a two second form. Um, Hans and Uncle has given the link to you guys in the chat box. And um, yeah, just fill it in when you have time. So uh, now we're gonna go on to an exciting session uh, with Sneha for a little bit of an icebreaker. So over to you, Sneha. Uh, thank you, Chris. Um, guys, I'm just going to share my screen and then I'll explain what we have to do. Um, yeah. Okay, so the first activity that I've planned for you guys is um, I've taken images of everyday objects, everyday, it might be a fruit, it might be um, a vegetable, you know, something that you see, you know, it's a very common thing. And I've zoomed in on the object. So it's very intric intricate, so I need you guys to go on to the chat box. Christine, you'll do the monitoring, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. Christine yeah. will do the monitoring, and uh, I want you guys to tell me what that image is. So, yeah, okay, we'll give it a shot. What, what is this? This is kind of easy. Yeah, so um, I can um, see some of them. Samuel Thomas, yeah, thank you, Chris. Samuel Thomas said a remote, well done. Uh, no, Deborah, it's not a keyboard. Close though. This one's really, really easy as well. I'm gonna give that to Joshua. So well done, Joshua. It's a kiwi. Mm -hmm. This one, next one. Oh my God, are you guys are on fire today. Um, loads of answers are coming. Deborah, Samuel, Joshua, Salmiante, Esther, Noel. Uh, Sharon, well done guys, you all got the answer right. Yeah, so Samuel got Samuel got that one right first. It's a strawberry, yeah. I feel like I should have made it a little bit harder now. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Joshua because he said toothbrush. Uh, yeah, so well done Joshua. I've left a really big clue in this picture. Yeah, Samuel, yeah, it's a Bible, perfect. I hope you guys find this a little bit harder. No, yeah, bread. No, it's not a rock, it's bread, yeah. This is something that's really common. Yeah, it's a guitar, everyone's getting that one. Also very common. Yep, it's a card, well done, Joan. I said, this should be easy. Yeah, this took a little bit of time. Well done, Steffi, it's a giraffe. No, not a ca camel, not a camel, auntie, it's a giraffe. Close, close though. Something that, yeah, yeah, it's a cookie. Yeah, well done. So uh, I hope you guys had fun with the first game and then we'll go on to the second. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna spin the wheel. You can see the screen, right? Just a thumbs up. Yeah. Just yeah perfect okay so then um i'm going to spin the wheel uh some of the, que the uh, questions going to pop up every time i spin the wheel and then you're going to go into the chat box and tell me the answer most of the questions are based on faith because that's what the topic we're talking about today is so uh yeah let's go uh sneha we can't see the wheel we you can can't see you know we can see your presentation but we can't see your wheel okay one sec i'll I think you got stuck. Sorry, just one sec. Yeah. Can you see it now? Yeah, perfect. Okay, perfect. We'll go again. This woman was Ruth's sister in law. Mm, okay. No, not Naomi. Yeah, well done, Nola. It was Orpa. Next question. <clears throat> Who brought good news of the faith and love of the Thessalonians to Paul? Yeah, Deborah got that right. It was Timothy. Uh, next one. In which city did Paul heal the man who was crippled from birth? A bit harder. No, not Philippi. Anyone else? Anyone else have any answers? Give it a shot. If you get it wrong, it's all right. No, not Athens, not Corinth. 
It was Lystra, yeah. No, not Dopa. It was Lystra. Yeah, I can see the answers coming in, but this was a bit harder, so it's all right. We'll go on to the next one. Mm, that's the same question again. This is easy. What did Noah construct in faith that saved him and his household? Yeah, well done, Joshua, Deborah, Steffi, Abigail. Yeah, everyone got that right. It was an ark. Okay, this is a riddle. You might see this in the sky by a waterfall. By a waterfall, it's lower. Some say that it was first seen after a flood. Oh, okay, before I read it, you've got the answers. Abigail got it, Noel got it, Deborah got it, Joshua got it, Rainbow, yeah, well done. Okay, Abraham, he had the faith to leave his homeland at God's command, we all know that, but where was he told to go? Or was he told to go somewhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone's getting that as well. What another question about Abraham? What was his faith counted to him as? Abraham's faith was counted to him as? Yeah, Abigail got that righteousness. Well done, Abigail. Same question again. Oh, we keep getting the same questions. Okay. Which bowel item mentioned in Ephesians is used as an illustration of faith? Yeah, Abigail got that, shield of faith. We'll just do one more and then I'll hand it over back to Chris. Why? We keep getting the same questions, guys. Okay, I'm going to spin one more time. All right, how many, I'm going to use a different question. How many believed and were baptized on the day of Pentecost? No. I'm getting a lot of answers there. Okay, why don't you guys think of that? Yeah. Yeah, 3,000. Well done. Uh, well done. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of the icebreaker. And I'm going to give it back to Chris. I hope you guys had fun and you guys are ready for the next session. Uh, Chris? Thank you, Sneha, for that exciting um, little activity. Um, we'll announce the winners now. So game one, uh, Samuel Thomas was on fire. You were so good. You got around 10 points, so well done. And then second was Joshua with two points. Uh, so well done, both of you. And then for the second game, we have Noel, Deborah, Joshua, and Kanegamba. Oh, sorry, I don't know. Um, for, with um, uh, one point, um, as well as Steffi. Sorry, I forgot Steffi there. And um, we have Abigail with three points. So well done, Abigail. You got first prize there, well done. And may God bless you all and uh, thank you for part uh, participating. So next, um, Hans and Uncle, uh, could you please send that link again? Um, we have a mentee link. So I want you guys to type in where you're from. So your city and your country. Um, so Hans and Uncle is just gonna give you the link there. And uh, all you have to do is just uh, type in your city and your country. And, you know, it'd be fun to see where all of you are from. Okay, so uh, I'll give you a few minutes to do that right now. Dublin, Ireland is coming in. Any more? I'll give you a few minutes there. England. Yeah, so uh, Deborah's asking um, where the link is. So uh, Hanson and Uncle, can you please send the, the link if that's okay? Just again, because yeah. I think there are so many answers coming in as well. So. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. Yeah. Doncaster, UK. Uh, got to stop the share to get the link. So give me one second.
Yeah. I'll be back with the screen share. Kent, Kent is coming into the chat box. Okay, thank you, Abigail. So I think Abigail just uh, sent us the link there. Thank you so much. And um, you can use that link. Yeah, Hansen Engel sent it there. Thank you, Hansen Engel. So you can share your uh, country and your city there. So um, let's move on to our next session, okay? Um, while you guys are on it. So up next, we have the word, uh, the main message. And for that, I would like to welcome Pastor Jiffy Yohanan. So thank you so much for being here. You gave us a great um, blessed uh, worship session and now we're gonna hear from you from the word. Um, he's a youth and family counselor as well as a mentor. Uh, he has pastored Vineyard Church in Adur for eight years. And then he has served in ICPF for 12 years. Um, he's a senior pastor and MD of Lifetime Friend uh, Ministries. And he and his wife, sister Bincy has um, a passion to minister among like many unbelievers, especially like the Muslim community in Kerala, India. So I'd like to give a warm welcome for Pastor J.P. Yohanan and yeah, over to you. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Christine, Babu, uh, especially for inviting me, uh, uh, being the host, thank you so much. Um, I'm so glad again. Uh, actually, uh, just before the worship, I just didn't mention uh, many names because uh, we are, the time was a little less. So uh, I just want to mention some names and just thank them for uh, giving me this uh, opportunity. Especially, I thank uh, my dear brother and friend uh, Hanson Samuel. Uh, we had met when we were there in UK. Uh, thank you, brother, for giving me this opportunity to share from the Word of God. And uh, I'm also glad that uh, um, my dear friend, brother, Pastor Pradeep Anthony is also there today. Uh, thank you so much. He's a pastor in Nottingham. Also, he's my uh, brother's pastor also there in Nottingham. So uh, glad to be with you all. Uh, so uh, nice to meet uh, Saumya Praise. Uh, really glad to hear uh, your testimony and uh, and how you were sharing about faith and the facts it was really great. Uh, and all the people who uh, did the meetings today, especially Noel, uh, really, uh, he shared really good that we could pray. And Sneha, the activity is really good. Uh, you could see the children so fast. I have never seen people dancing so fast like this. <laughs> uh, it's really great. Uh, so so uh, glad to be with you all. And all the people uh, who screen. And uh, this is of the video, but still, I think you can see me, uh, though I can't see you. But in faith, I believe that you're there, uh, sitting in front of the screen at least, okay? <laughs> uh, trusting that you're there. Uh, let me just uh, take this time to uh, uh, share the maximum time to share from the Word of God. Uh, when a uh, dear handsome brother called me and told me about uh, faith, uh, just this uh, name just popped up. You know, because it is uh, uh, from the Bible itself, a uh, small mustard seed, and then then an SMS came up. So it is so nice to uh, share that you have chosen this topic uh, where we have to learn how to uh, build up our faith. Uh, so let's uh, uh, look into some things. I request all of you to uh, take three things and keep it in your hand. Take a Bible, take a notebook, and a pen. Okay, keep these three things, please, because I want you to write down these things uh, I know uh, you might, uh, you know, you might have a good memory and all that, but sometimes we tend to forget. So just write down these small things that we are uh, sharing. I'm not saying uh, going into because since uh, Sister Saumya shared many things, I removed some of the <laughs> slides that you know because she was sharing some verses that I was going to share. So praise God. So I don't, I'm not going into those uh, verses, but uh, let's stick on to some things that we have to learn. Um, uh, let's, uh, you know, uh, learn this thing again about small mustard uh, seed, you know, uh, maybe we're just learning a little bit about uh, you know, small mustard seed, you know, <clears throat> and that, uh, uh, and when I said this uh, name also, I took it actually from uh, this verse in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. Uh, so Jesus said to them, because of your unbelief, Truly, I tell you, if you have faith like a small mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, 
and it will move and nothing will be impossible uh, for you. Uh, uh, as I was, you know, reading this verse, uh, a small uh, incident, you know, just came into my mind where I read a small and you know, a thing about a lady and uh, who used to always uh, look outside a window and she used to enjoy the nature, you know, outside the window. And you know, there was this big mountain in front of her, and you know, she was really disturbed because of this mountain. Uh, because all the other things were good, you know, the trees, the flowers, and everything was really good. And, you know, she started praying hard, you know, oh, Lord, I take this verse, you know, in faith and say, because, you know, the Bible says, and if you say this mountain should be moved, uh, you know, if you pray, it will move. So finally, you know, she started praying hard and saying, let this mountain move uh, from this place. And, you know, and uh, she was praying the whole night. And the next morning when she opened the window, she saw the mountain still there. And, and she said in her mind, she said, you know, when I prayed itself, I knew that it is not going to move. <laughs> so, you know, uh, we try to apply faith uh, without giving more importance to the foundations of our faith. Uh, uh, many times, you know, people talk about faith and Christian life, but people are not willing to spend time before the Lord. People are not ready to spend time to, you know, develop their faith. So, so let's uh, let's see some things again uh, that we are going to uh, with uh, uh, the slide. You can write down some things you know that we are sharing over here. You know, uh, see so what's this mustard seed? You know, mustard seed is like you know when Jesus said that verse. You know, mustard seed is you know one of the tiniest seeds uh, that you can see. And in the, the good thing about this seed is in you know, it grows. Uh, very fast, you know, within a few months, you can, you can see it coming up to like 10 feet and all that. And finally, you know, uh, some mustard seed would come up to a, a big tree. So, uh, uh, it's a fast growing, it's a fast growing herb, it's a fast growing, you know, a tree. So what is this? What do, what do we have to learn? Why Jesus is taking uh, this mustard seed? Because, it's, uh, you know, Jesus took that because in the East, uh, they used to use this uh, mustard seed a lot. So uh, he took that example. So what? why did he take the small uh, mustard seed example uh, to prove? Because, you know, an, an incident just happened before that. Uh, because, you know, uh, the disciples had to pray for a, for, a, for a person who had epilepsy. And, you know, and they prayed and it didn't go. So, and, and they finally, that father of that uh, child had to bring uh, that child to Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ, you know, uh, prayed and uh, the sickness went. And then finally, you know, the, the disciple asked, why uh, couldn't we do this? And then Jesus Christ replies, oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. And there Jesus Christ prays and the demon just leaves. So what God is talking to the disciples, because the disciples um, you know, he, he, they prayed this prayer, but it didn't happen. Why? Because they, you know, tried to apply a lot of their strength. They were depending more on their words. They were depending on more on their actions. They were not depending more on Jesus. You know, what's happening, you know, that's what's happening in our Christian life. You know, we, uh, after coming to know the Lord Jesus Christ, after getting baptized, or maybe after being filled in the Holy Spirit, there is a tendency in our life, you know, to be so cool and calm. And finally, you know, there comes a stage in our life where we don't spend much time uh, studying the Word. We don't spend much time seeking His will. Uh, sometimes, you know, people depend, depend on prophets a lot. You know, God speaks, of course, through prophets. But, you know, it, there, is a, there, is a, there is a tendency in people that, you know, they take things for granted. And finally, they fall into a big problem, and then they want all the price. You know, till that time, you know, they don't spend much time with the Word of God. And, you know, and they want also faith. And finally, if any problem comes, they ask, why God didn't take care of me? <laughs> why He's not giving importance to my emotions? All those days and months, you know, we didn't give value to spend before the Lord. And then, and we want, you know, faith to come just one day into our life. No, it's not going to happen. The faith in our life is a gradual day-to-day -day process where you learn from God and that's how your faith increases. See this uh, mustard seed again, you know, coming back to that, you know, 
See, now let's learn about you know, how, why God is talking about this mustard seed and putting faith. It says, he said like this, you know, if you have faith as a mustard seed. So he's connecting the small mustard seed uh, with faith, with you know something that we have to trust. And you know, our dear sister Saumi already told about the definition of uh, faith you know, taken from Hebrews. And this doesn't just come because, you know, we, it's because of our thought. No. See, in, in Luke also, when you see in 17, chapter 16, and you know, there, God is not using the mountain. He's using a tree. He's telling them if we have a faith as a mustard seed, you can tell this, this tree to be removed and, you know, you know, and uh, taken to another place. And there, you know, we go to another verse in Mark chapter 9, 23. It's certainly, if you can believe, all things are possible. To him who believes, all things are possible. See, that means God is giving an, an, an encouraging word that in, if you grow in me, if you spend time in me, your belief, your faith has value, and anything is possible. So you know what happens and if we are not growing in faith, just the opposite will come into our lives. See, just the opposite of people are writing, you can write this down. Just the opposite of faith is doubt, is doubt. You know, you start, you know, doubting everything. You know, you start doubting, you know, if God is there with me, you start doubting if my prayers are being heard. You know what happens? People start, you know, having this depression and people go away from the presence of God. You know, everywhere in the Bible it is written, you know, you should meditate on the word, you should meditate on the word. And, you know, people tend to read the Bible, you know. There's a difference between reading <laughs> and there's a difference between meditating. You go, you search the whole scriptures, it is not written anywhere to read the Bible. If you can, you know, maybe if I'm not that much knowledge of the Bible, it's in my life all this time in a search, it's not written read the Bible. It is written meditate on, on the word, contemplate on his ways. So everywhere you go, meditation is different. Contemplating is different than reading. So people, what happened, they just read the, you know, some people read the Bible, you know why? In the morning, because they don't want to be hit by a lorry, but they don't want to be hit by a truck on that day. You know, <laughs> Some people, you know, fast and pray, you know why? Because they are searching for material things. Three days fasting prayer, what? For my son to pass 10 standard. Seven days fasting for, for me to get visa to go to another country. 14 days fasting prayer to build a house. See, look at this. Look, what is the fasting prayer? What is all, you know, why? Because we are not spending time with God, what is happening? We are trying to apply faith in the wrong things. We are trying to apply our spiritual life in the material things of this world. And people have lost the simplicity. People have become so, you know, with all muscle. You know, this kind of, praise the Lord, brother. You know, uh, so, you know, what's happening? You know, they've lost the simplicity. People have lost the humility. You know why? Because they're not spending time with the Lord. You know, your faith is not happening one day. Your faith doesn't increase. You know, have you seen that you just put a seed uh, and within seconds do you see a big tree coming up? No. You have to, you know, spend time. You have to give it care according to, you know, According to it needs according to its need. So if you don't, if you don't spend time, uh, what happens? Doubt comes inside. You know, uh, you start losing your faith. You know, there was this uh, uh, there was this person who was walking on the side of a hill, and as he was walking on the side of the hill, you know, suddenly he his, he tripped down and he started falling down that you know big big hill. And as he was falling down and he started, you know, uh, you know, waving his hands and legs to see if he can catch anything. And finally, you know, he got, a, got onto a branch that was coming out from the hill. He got this branch and he was hanging there. And he was hanging there with both his hands. And, you know, he started, you know, hanging there for some time, trying to see if he can do something by himself. You know, this is what happens when people don't trust in God. They try to trust in themselves first. And you know what, he was hanging there. And, you know, finally he came to a point that, you know, he started getting tired. And then he started calling out. He started calling out. He said, Jesus, come and help me. And finally, you know, there was a soft voice that came into his ears and said like this, you leave your hands. I will hold you. 
And this person was not, you know, see, you know, faith has to always have to be trust. So he couldn't trust that voice. He couldn't trust what Jesus said. You know, he, and, he, and he held again. And finally, he came to a point that he had to leave one of his hands because he was getting more tired and he was hanging on with one hand. And again, he started shouting, Jesus, help me. And again, there was this, there was no, uh, the soft voice that came and said, uh, son, you leave your hands. I will uphold you. I will hold you. And he was not satisfied with that voice. And finally, you know, he shouted out and said, is there anybody else? <laughs> See, this is what in, you're not being able to sustain in your faith. You're not being able to cling on to Jesus when all the tribulations and, ten, and temptations come in your life. You fail, you know, maybe you defend uh, for, for some time and then finally you can't hold on and you, you give up on Jesus. Why? Because, you know, you are not spending that, you are not having that love relationship with God. And, you know, finally this guy, he couldn't hold on and then he had to leave. He had to leave. Finally, he left his hand and he fell straight down. And you know what happened? There was a small valley below. You know, there was just two hills and there was a small valley below. And you know what happened? This uh, grass near the valley had grown in a way that, you know, it was thick grass that you know, it was just like our mattress, you know, like soft, you know, big grass was grown over there. And finally, this guy fell on this, this grass that has grown thick and he just bounced and fell and nothing happened to him. And that is why when he realized that, you know, that, you know, what Jesus said, you leave your hand because Jesus had provided, he had kept a way for him to, you know, to take, take care of him. But he couldn't trust, he couldn't believe, or he couldn't have that faith in God that much. You know why? Because, you know, he was not connected with God all the time. Now, let's see, what are the things that we can do? You know, uh, what can we do? You know, we have to nurture our faith. We have to take care of our faith just like you take care of a seed. Now, how do you take care of a seed? What do you do? You always, you know, uh, have you, I know many of you, all of you must have uh, done that, uh, you know, the job of putting a seed in your childhood days, or maybe you're young, you put seed and you, and you, know, you wait so much to see it growing, you know, and finally, you know, suddenly the seed breaks and something comes up out of the soil. And, you know, you're so every day, one, every one, each day you come and see how much it has grown and you finally you see the leaves coming up and, you know, finally glow. And, and, and if it's a flower plant, you see the flower or if it's a plant that brings the fruit, you see the fruit, that colorful fruit, you know, that, that colorful flower. So this is a daily thing that you wait, you do a lot of, you pour water at the right time you know you give it sufficient sunlight you take it you nurture that seed and then it grows if that seed is not taken care of it dries off it dies off it doesn't grow so let's see what we have to do in our faith how can we nurture our faith how can we grow in our in our faith uh, with the lord jesus christ let's go forward because uh, if there is you know you have to grow your faith you have to take care of your faith First of all, you know, take care of your faith. You know, you have to uh, have a, a commitment. You have to, I hope you guys are writing these, down, these things down. You, know, you have to take care of your faith. How? Now, you have to have a daily connection with God. You have to spend time with Him always. And I heard the story about a guy named Joe. Now, he was working in a small factory. And you know, um, um, he used to go to the small chapel that was just near to his uh, factory. And every time, whenever it was lunch break, he used to go to this chapel and he used to spend time, some time in prayer and then he used to come back. So all his uh, you know, uh, co-workers, these people who were working with him, knew that every lunch break, he used to go to this chapel for prayer. And you know, this uh, Joe, Whenever he goes to this chapel, these are some words that he used to say to God. He used to stand there because he doesn't have much time, just a few minutes. He just comes to the chapel, looks out to the face of Jesus and says, Jesus, I'm happy to be with you today. Uh, I'm so glad that I am your son and that you are my father. Uh, without you, uh, one day is an empty day. So today it's uh, Joe signing off today. Thank you, Jesus. And he always does the signing of stuff and he goes back to his, uh, to his factory. And this happened every day. 
And you know, one uh, one day, you know, uh, when the factory is open, uh, this, these employees saw that Joe was not there. Joe didn't come to uh, the factory, you know, so they waited. So next day they waited again, Joe was not there. Two days he was not there in the factory. And then, you know, they, then he, they came to understand that he fell sick and he's admitted in a hospital. So these uh, friends of his, you know, went to visit him in the hospital. And, you know, uh, so they always knew uh, because uh, Joe used to say this prayer every time and these co-workers knew that Joe, what he used to say this prayer. So they went to this hospital and they asked Joe, Joe, uh, what did you do? Because uh, when you were in the hospital, you couldn't go to the chapel. You couldn't talk with your Jesus. You couldn't say hi to him. Uh, so how, how could he manage these days in the hospital? And you know, Joe said, uh, my dear friends, you know, uh, nothing to worry about. You know, when I was in the factory, I used to go and visit God in the chapel over there. But over here, when I was in the hospital, Jesus came to me in the hospital. And he came to me in the hospital and said, he said, Joe, I'm so glad that you're my son. And I'm so glad that I'm your father. I like to be with you. I like to spend time with you. I like to hear the words that you say. This is Jesus signing off today. See, look at that. See, that is the relationship that we have to have with Jesus on a daily basis. You have to take care of your Christian faith. See, it's not that the day that you repented, the day that you came to know Jesus and that that's it. No, it's not the day that you got baptized and that's it. No, you have to take care of it till you die. You know, it, it, you could be 20 years or 30 years into faith. You know, the simplicity of your life becomes more and more. You become more and more humble. You know, earlier our words were very thick, but you know, they, the more and more day we spend, you know, you know, I always used to, you know, every day, morning and evening, I just bow down and just raise my hands up and say, Lord, you're holy, holy, holy. Lord, without you, I cannot go forward. You are my everything. And you know, many days I just cry. Because you know why? He's the only one who can lead us. He's the only one who will never leave us. So you have to have a committed Christian care life for your, for your spiritual life. You have to be committed. You have to have that God relationship with you every time, every day, every minute. So take care of your faith. Be connected with him every day. Uh, speak to him every day. Secondly, you know, you know, water your faith. Whenever you put a seed, you know, what you have to do, you have to put water. What does that show, you know? So taking care of your faith is you should know Jesus every day. Huh? So if anybody is writing, you can write that and take care of your faith right next to that, you know, know Jesus every day. Know him every day. Know more about him every day. Number two, water your faith. What do you do in watering your faith? What is that? You know, this is the time that you take to listen from him from the word of God. Spending time with him every day. Again, spending time with him with the word of God. Water your faith because you have to, you know, learn at least, you know, one chapter. See, if you don't have time to meditate at least one chapter a day, what a believer are you? What a son or daughter are we? See, if, 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 if a person from an under faith, from somebody from you know, outside the Christian faith comes and asks you 10 tough questions from the Bible, can he answer? See, we will be ashamed and standing there. You know, many people are leaving their faith with Christ and going to different other faiths. You know why? Because they didn't spend quality, healthy time studying, meditating the word of God. You know, some people, you know, uh, they don't know if, uh, uh, you know, Second Chronicles, they have not even seen that book in their life. I have asked some people, have you meditated on Chronicles? This is Chronicles. You know, they think that, you know, Chronicles is kept only for pastors for preaching. <laughs> you know, some people don't know some prophet, prophetic books in the, in the Old Testament. They don't know. The, the books that they all know is Genesis, Exodus, Sam, and then Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. That's all. <laughs> And once in a while, maybe Acts or maybe Revelation. But they don't know the other books because you know why? You're not giving value for the Bible. Some people, you know, read our daily bread, other books. They read other uh, spiritual books, but they don't study the Bible. They don't meditate the Bible. No, it's good. It's good that you study other books. Good. But not in the place of the Bible. Always meditate the Bible and then only go to the other books. So now, you know, because everything is online, now people are watching YouTube videos and messages, 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 but they are not spending personal time with God. 
and because of that during this lockdown many people you know lost their faith many people lost their meditation time i we always you know i always connect connect this bible meditation in our group and you know earlier there were more people but finally lockdown came many people left <laughs> many people stopped meditation because they think they how come they're sitting at home and they're not being meditated what is happening see it's good to hear all these messages good good you know we are also preaching to good listen to these messages but you know god is speaking through preachers good but god has to speak to you personally he has to you know talk to you on a daily basis and that is very important meditation is very important that you need to do in your life and after that after you water the seed after you water that faith that seed of faith you know what you have to do you have to light up your faith that means you know you have to keep this pot in the sunlight you know the the this uh, this uh, seed has to you know sprout out you know because of the sunlight so you have to light up your faith you have to have time with fellowship with believers you know i, I know some people are in attending this meeting uh, many people might be having uh, you know work at home or maybe some people are doing their jobs and that's why they're not coming up on video they're not opening their uh, video but some people are purposely switching off their camera you know why because now people are making new lives new lives in a way that you know when you see yes i am there but when you ask are you there i am not there you know because you know the video you are there in the meeting yes but are you really in the meeting no your screen is there your name is there but are you attending are you listening to the word of god god knows meetings after meetings are happening so i request you know people forget about this meeting any any other meeting you know please you know keep your video on because if you keep your video off there is more chances for the devil to catch you there is more chances for you to say a lie see so, you know maybe you just saw a link of a video and suddenly you are doing something or and I, you got in it's okay you you will be a video maybe a cooking and finally you only hear a message no problem that is no problem at all but otherwise when you're free when you're there sitting just in front of the screen and you know you're switching off you know what do you do you go into whatsapp you go into facebook and you know it's app and uh, uh, see what's happening you're not getting it you're not getting it you're not connected you know you're not connect these these meetings are really important church meetings that you have you have to attend every meeting fellowship in your church and not only just attending not just being there it's not that your you know your video is on or maybe a video is off and you're looking and doing something else no listen to the word of god write down these messages because there is a light for your life let's go further what you should do next you should what you should you should destroy that destroys your faith destroy that destroys your faith you know destroy you know have you seen you know i uh, hope you're writing these things down you know and you see when you plant uh, small plants and all i i used to do a lot of farming with my father and you know when we plant these things you know we see these unnecessary weeds coming up with these plants have you seen you know uh, we put all this uh, you know all the fertilizers and everything and finally you know other things come up nothing to do with we don't have to sometimes you know we don't have to put in any water also for that it just comes up like and then it's, it's a hard time you know picking these weeds out so you know you have to identify in john 10 10 it says like this you know you know we have to understand there is a thief that is there coming to destroy kill your life to steal destroy and kill your life we have to identify that and we have to see what are the things coming in their life maybe it could come in the form of a of a of a maybe of a of a movie of a bad movie it can come in the form of a wrong relationship it can come in the form of 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 affairs love affairs it could come in the form of uh, sexual sins uh, personal secret sins it could come in the form of uh, pornography it could come in the form of different you know things that destroy your relationship with god and in order for you to say no to this you have to fight it you have to resist it in in james chapter 4 verse 7 it says submit to god resist the devil and he will flee from you so in order for you to resist the devil you should be careful that you don't fall into his wiles the bible says in a way not aware about the wiles we should be aware about the wiles of the devil 
and you know finally you fall into all these temptations and then finally you find you tell yourself you are not able to fight against the devil because you are already in this you are falling into his pranks you are falling into his into his kingdom that's what the bible says jesus says you know i know we are uh, and now uh, get up and pray because you will not for, for you not to fall into temptation please rise up and pray but now people are not ready to fast people are not ready to fast and pray you ask many young people how many times you fast a day fast a week they are staying on sunday morning they may be maybe staying hungry and they that they think that is the only fasting that they do no you have to fast and pray because you know why the bible says like this very clearly in that verse you know somebody can you take that portion that we read today in matthew chapter 17 verse uh, 21 uh just the verse of the after the verse that i mentioned in the screen uh matthew chapter 17 verse 21 it says you know however this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting see if you want to drive out those demons out of that crowd you have to fast and pray if you want to fight against the devil you have to fast and pray because unless and until you fast and pray you won't spend quality time before god so at least I, i advise you children to have at least one day fasting in a week fast one day not sunday okay sunday you celebrate bro from monday to saturday fast one day and how like uh, two days to three days fasting in a month so weekly one day fasting monthly three days fasting and you know once in a while you know take some five days fasting in a while because you know people have now found it very difficult to fast and pray people are not spending time and because of that they fall into these temptations so destroy the weeds spend time before the lord because otherwise all these things will start catching you and finally you know people fall into relationship and say is there any problem and then finally for you for you meeting the question is is love marriage wrong is telling a lie uh, for a good purpose wrong see look at that look at doubts are coming because you know why they are not spending time with the word of god i'm not i'm not you know you can ask questions it's okay but some people you know come to that point because they are not getting the answer from the bible we are of course we help people in guiding we help them in questions and all that yeah good to ask questions but i give you my advice majority of your questions the answers there in the bible and you have to find it you have to spend time and god will speak to you let's go to the next one destroy that destroys your faith and finally feed your faith feed your faith with prayer that's what i ended with feed your faith have a dedicated time of prayer write this down have a dedicated time of prayer you have to spend quality time before the lord you have to spend time in prayer before him without spending time in prayer you are not going to become strong you know uh, one day you know i was hearing the message of billy graham and he said you know for a for a powerful christian life you have to do three things and he said the first thing is prayer the second thing is prayer the third thing is prayer you know so it's all prayer you know you should be crazy you should be crazy people in prayer you know you should have a prayer room in your house if you if you people are you know have not watched that movie watched that movie war room It's a wonderful movie. Please watch that movie. It's a wonderful uh, movie for prayer. Watch it how many times you want. It's good because that motivates you to pray. You should have a prayer room in your house. Maybe it could be in your room. Set aside a, a portion of your room for prayer time. Put a mat below your bed all the time so that you can see that mat. You know, fall before him all the time. Spend time before him. You know, you have to because feed your faith. You know, give. give stuff so that the seed will grow and come up to a big tree my dear children my dear friends you know you have to understand you have to do these things for that seed of faith you know it's not just one day that you start believing god 100% no your faith also is given by jesus christ and you will come to a point when you know whatever happens if it is corona or if it is tsunami or if it is any in a sickness that comes in your life if you lose your job you know you may be not having money for 3 4 days but still you will never be scared you will never be worried in you know why because god will give you the grace to go forward hallelujah my my cousin sister fell sick one day and she got this cancer 
and she just had decided to take uh, baptism and that is time when she got this uh, sickness uh, blood cancer she was admitted in the hospital i was very angry with god because i thought why why my cousin sister got this this uh, cancer when she decided to get baptized i was really angry with god one day when i was waiting outside where the patient's parents were waiting in the waiting room i heard a big scream and you know suddenly one uncle in that in that general ward uh, passed away and i was really sad that afternoon when i went to meet my sister to give lunch she was looking at my face and said why uh, why uh, why are you not sharing any jokes today because i always used to share jokes and make her happy because i was though i was angry with god because she got the sickness i used to make her happy for that few minutes that we could sit there and i i said you know because that uncle died of course i am sad then this sister my sister lying on the bed you know she was having one trip on her hand on one on big tube was going through her neck you know because and she was lying on the on the bed like this with all pain and she's telling why are you why are you worried because uh, the uncle died i said of course we have to be worried because he died he said no nothing to worry about she told five days back i shared the gospel with this uncle and he accepted the lord jesus christ as his personal savior we will see him in heaven and you know and just after that he she looked at my face and said because you don't have cancer you can sit with me only here for five minutes but because i have cancer god has given me the opportunity to share the gospel with all the patients in this you know what after two months she passed away from this world she was only 20 years old many people prayed i know god heals cancer but for her that was god's will she passed away after two months she passed away but you know when i went to that hospital take her death certificate when i spoke with one of the nurses she told me she has never seen a patient so happy like this girl, this girl her name was gigi dani and you know she was saying whenever they remove the trip suddenly she will run to the next bed and start sharing about it and she was a happy joy to all the people in that in that in that in that ward my dear brothers and sisters god has made you over there you know why so that you will become a comfort to many people your faith should be a comfort to many people let me just read this verse in matthew chapter you can write this down matthew chapter uh 13 and verse 31 it is written like this another parable he put forth matthew chapter 13 verse 31 and 32 it says like this the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his field which indeed in the least of all the seeds but when it grow it is greater than the herbs and and before becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and nest in the branches my dear brothers and sisters you know why are you building your faith it is not just because for you alone when you spend time before the lord there are people out in this world waiting to hear a comforting word from you you know we are always you know looking around for people to comfort us you are always with that pastor didn't talk to me this pastor didn't smile at me this counselor didn't help me this person didn't love me this person didn't take care of me enough of this my dear brothers and sisters enough of being selfish receive from god and you be a blessing to others this is the time where you have to receive from yourself don't expect other people to comfort you let them do it but receive the comfort receive the strength from the lord jesus christ and there are many birds and many people who are in the rain who are in the in the suffering out in the world in sin they have nobody to comfort them there is nobody to say a good word to them and they are waiting for you and me people in your class people in your office people in your neighborhood people staying in your flat people are waiting for you to say this word my dear brothers and sisters i would like to just stop with this song and i want to comfort you with this song because you have to confess your 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 sins to god you have to confess because you have not spent time before god and until 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 and and unless you give water and light and feed your seed that is not going to grow your faith is never going to grow you will keep on all throughout your life maybe you might get married you might have children you might have a job but your faith will be wavering all the time you will not become strong you will not become a blessing for others enough of this hiding enough of this secret life that you are having no the only secret life that we should have is the time that we spend with jesus
the bible says you know when you don't spend time get inside your room lock the door spend time with god who sees you in secret but now what is happening when we are locking the door that door locking is happening in a place for sin people are locking the door to communicate wrong things people are locking the door to phone another wrong person people are locking the door to do sin people are locking the door to watch dirty things see look what the devil has done what the devil has done that place where it has to be holy that place that you have god has told you to sit for prayer the devil is turning it out to a bad place hallelujah let's submit our lives to god right now let's submit our life to god right now let's call out to him right now let's tell him you know that we have fallen let's let's tell him that we have you know we are weak in faith let's call out to jesus as we sing the song i want you to confess before the lord if you have gone away if you are not in a position that you are not spending time with god sing the song and say that lord we are weak but we need your strength oh god it's a confession lord that we are weak so heavy we but you are strong and no we have nothing lord to lay at your feet we come to your feet and say help us oh lord a broken heart and a contrite spirit lord you have yet to deny your heart of mercy beats with love strong and the river flow by the spirit now the lord be cried let your mercies fall from heaven sweet mercies fall from heaven new mercies for today shout and now lord as we pray it's a confession lord that we are weak so where we be But you are strong, and though we have nothing, Lord, to lay at your feet, to come to your feet and say, "Help us, O Lord." A broken heart and a contrite spirit, Lord, you have yet to deny. Let the wind blow by a spirit now. Lord, be glad that your mercies fall from heaven. Sweet mercies fall from heaven. New mercies for today. Shout it down, Lord, as we pray. Let your mercies fall from heaven. Sweet mercies fall from heaven. New mercies for today. your eyes right now and if anybody is not strong in the lord if you're not being able to spend time before him i want you to submit your life to god right now and those who are submitting a life if you if you feel that you're not spending quality time before the lord ask him to forgive you right now come back to jesus Because he's the one who's going to help you to build your faith, and through your faith, he's going to enable you to reach many people. If anybody 
Once prayer, I want you to make keep your hand next to your heart. Those people are submitting, forgiving yourself right now. God, submit yourself. Your hand next to your heart and confess your sin right now. Confess the time that we have not spent time with Him. Lord, I pray for every child, every person, every youngster who is taking this time and praying before you. Lord, help him, help her, Lord. That from today onwards, that they will take care of their faith. That they will always water it. And you'll give it the light. They'll find out the, the wrong things in their life. And they'll pray every day. Thank you, Lord, for this group. Thank you for the ICPF in Europe, ICPF in the UK, and all the children, and all the elders. Bless them, O Lord. Use them mightily. May through their ministry, let many people come to you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. God bless you. Thank you once again. Thank you once again. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Jiffy, for that uh, blessed message. Um, now we've all learned how to nurture our faith, and I pray that we take care of our faith, we light up our faith, we water our faith, and that we feed our faith. So hopefully we've all received the word and that we can use it. And so, and I pray that we can use it in our daily lives. So next we're going on to the Q&A session. And for that, I would like to call upon Dr. Esther. Praise the Lord. Greetings to you all. Once again, in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, I would like to thank our uh, guest speakers uh, Dr. Samia and uh, Jifia Jachan for speaking to us, for sharing from the Word of God. So uh, uh, now it's time to take a look into our questions, the questions asked by our students. So first question is, what does it mean by faith without works is dead? Chichi, it's uh, mute. It just went mute, right? Or yeah. it on? No, it's okay. You can continue now. So what does it mean by faith without works is dead? So either Jifia Chajan or uh, Sam Jishi can answer it. Okay. Uh, I think Samia, she's not here. It's okay. Um, yeah, faith without works is dead means, you know, because as you grow up, as you grow up in the Lord, we have to apply this faith. It's not that, you know, uh, when we do any work that our faith increases. No, it's not that. You know, when you say that God is almighty, when you say God is your savior, you have to mean it. You have to live your life also that way. So uh, faith without works means, it means if you are saying in one way that you are a believer, you're a son of the almighty God. And that is not seen in our life, you know. Then that is that that is that, you know. Uh, even your uh, your friends, your peer, people staying with you, they should see that uh, faith that you're that, that you're applying in your life. You know, the Bible says, you know, the, we don't have a spirit of timidity, but a, a spirit of power, of love, and a good good conscience. But you know, many times when we come to our own personal life, you know, we don't trust God. You know, we don't have faith. We don't apply that in our life. That's where you have to apply in, in, order, in order for that work. So even that work is not from outside, okay? That also, God also gives us the grace, okay? So you can add on with that also. Sorry, I, I did miss uh, the first part. So I, I would um, agree to the to the same thing. Once you, once you say that you have faith, but faith is not... Um, uh, uh, as an emotion or a feeling it should be an action um, so that's what the verse when I was speaking um, it says walk in faith so that is an action it, it needs to have something done to it um, uh, and um, as pastor said that's that's uh, I, I, I think that would have answered the question thank you both uh, we have another question it goes what is the foundation of faith what is the foundation of faith? Uh, 
so uh, if Chechi can answer it. So um, as as the definition itself says, you know, we need to we need to base our faith um, in a, in something that is unseen. We need to have that confidence in something that is unseen. What is that unseen? I think it is it is to believe that that whoever comes to God should believe that He exists, and He has uh, he, he can bless you or He can abundantly give you the answers. So that should be the key basis of your faith. That if you're coming to a uh, to a Christian, you need to believe that Jesus died for you. And, uh, you know, his blood um, uh, can wash away your sins um, and he can do anything uh, in your life, which is impossible for you, but possible for him. So that uh, that should be your key uh, basis of your faith. Um, and Jifcha, please, if you could add, this is what I think. It's a very simple thing, you know, uh, people are taking these things very tough, you know. What is our foundation of faith? Jesus Christ, of course. You know? uh, Jesus Christ came down to this world. He lived, uh, did, you know, lived among us, did miracles and all that. He died for us on the cross and he rose again on the third day. And, you know, that is our foundation. You know, he has won death and he rose again. You know, he's, he's, he's God. He's living. So our foundation is the resurrection of the, the Lord Jesus Christ. Our foundation is the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you know, it's not just in paper that you know you just you just go to church and you know you just uh, you know Bible verses by heart and you know you go through these competitions and all that stuff and you know that's not that's not the thing. It's not how many medals, how many trophies you got for the talent test competition. No, it's the foundation. Your your you, your foundation is Jesus Christ. And you know, when your life, when your foundation is Jesus, many people, you know, your foundation becomes the parents, your foundation becomes your mentors, your foundation becomes the, your church. No, our foundation is Jesus Christ, and you're standing on Him, and without Him, you cannot go forward. So, our foundation of faith is Jesus Christ, His life, His death, and His resurrection, and that He's going to come again. The whole creed is our foundation. Amen. Uh, I believe that answers the question. We have uh, just one more question left. It is how to apply faith in life when you face difficult situations. Application of faith. Oh, Swami already said that, so Swami can repeat that again. He <laughs> already, already shared. Yeah. How can you apply? You can apply even when you, um, when you know. Uh, for example, you have an exam coming. How can you apply faith? Just simply believe that God can use your knowledge, limited one, uh, use your abilities, very limited. Maybe your, uh, your, uh, your, your parents' knowledge is limited. You know, your gene says that uh, you are limited with your IQ, but God can do. Uh, it is just applying in your simple things. That will enable you to uh, face the bigger challenges in life. You know, when it when it hits the bigger bigger things, that is where uh, 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 when the, the small things, I think it, it builds up. It's as as Pastor said, it's a work. It has to nurture. It has to grow. It has to grow as a deep root. So small things will build up for your bigger ones. So that is that is um, what I think the answer would be. And please, uh, Jifcha. Yeah, there was a there was a village now. In, in, in our place, you know, where, you know, this prayer, you must have heard the story that happened. You know, uh, it was it was drought and, you know, people, it was not raining for many days. And finally, you know, the church people decided to come for, together to, uh, you know, and, and, you know, not only that, you know, uh, the church people decided to come together to pray for that, for rain to come. And, you know, so all the people, yes, yes, we're going to pray for rain. And then everybody came to church and they were spending like hours together for praying that it will rain, rain, rain. And finally, as, after all the prayer, you know, the pastor of the church uh, got up and asked, how many of you bought the umbrellas? And there was nobody who brought the umbrellas, you know, because, you know, those people who had faith that it is going to rain as soon as they pray, they would have brought the umbrellas, right? So it is just a simple way of life that you just trust God, you know, if he does or if he doesn't do, let it all, let it all will be done, you know. Faith is like that, you know. It can happen, cannot happen, still I believe in it. 
You know, if he heals me or if he doesn't heal me, still he's my savior. If he provides or if he doesn't provide, he's Jehovah Jireh. You understand? Whatever happens, you know, I'm for the last 17 years, you know, we are married and we don't have children. Me and Vincy, we don't have children. But you know, I don't, I don't care. You know, I, I said, Jesus, if you give me, praise the Lord. If you don't give me, praise the Lord. <laughs> you know, because, you know, I, I, and many people also, many people try to come for me. Praise God, they come and comfort. Good. You let God give. I'm happy if God gives me. But if he doesn't give me, and if he wants me to live in this world without children and do his ministry, I have no complaint. That is where you just come, just trust him with all your heart, that's all. Yeah, thank you, Jeep And uh, uh, so someone has asked us if you can please repeat the last point. I think it's about the last point from your message, which was feed your faith, I think. Yeah, feed your faith, yeah, the last fifth one. Feed your faith, that is prayer. Uh, having a dedicated time of prayer. Uh, I hope it answers all the questions. So th thank you both so much for uh, spending time with us today. So I'm, I'll hand over it to Christine. Thank you, Esther Chichi. And thank you to both of the speakers, Pastor Jiffy and Dr. Samia, for answering those questions. Um, thank you so much. May God bless you both and uh, may he use you more for his kingdom. So yes, have you taken a decision late uh, today? Um, Hans and Uncle has sent you a link. And if you have, um, just post it up there. It'd be great to see it. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be so happy to see it. And um, also towards the end, or even now, I just fill out that um, feedback form that um, Hans and Uncle has sent the link to. It really does help so we know, you know, what you like about the meetings, what you don't like about the meetings, you know, and it's, it's just great. So um, yeah, thank you to both the speakers once again. And I'm just gonna hand it over to Brother Noel to um, pick a person to pray for us and end this meeting. Uh, thank you, Christine. So yes, so as we finish, can I please now ask um, Abigail to please uh, pray at this time? Thank you. Uh, am I audible to you? Yes, 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 you are. Okay. So let's pray. Gracious, loving, heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this amazing time that you've blessed us with, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we got to know so much. We got to learn so many things today, Lord. We talked about faith. Lord Jesus, as we studied all these things, Lord, help us not to just listen to it, but also apply it in our life, Lord Heavenly Father. Help us to walk by it, Lord Jesus. Lord, just as it has been written in your word, we do not walk by sight, but we walk by faith. So help us to be those people, Lord, who would be walking by faith. Help us to take care of our faith, Lord. Water it, nurture it day by day, Lord, so that it goes, it grows stronger and stronger with time, Jesus. Lord, Heavenly Father, as Satan always comes to steal, kill and destroy, Lord. Lord, help us to stand strong and firm, Lord, and Put on the whole armor of God with the shield of faith, with the breastplate of righteousness, with the helmet of salvation, with the sword of the word of God, Lord. Help us to be ready, Lord. Help us to be prepared, prepared for everything that you've kept for us, Lord, Heavenly Father. Lord Jesus, once again, we thank you for this great time that you've given us, Lord. Help us, Lord, and help us to receive everything that you've kept for us. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Abigail. Back to you, Christine. And uh, thank you, Brother Noel, for um, picking her, and uh, may God bless you both. Uh, so, um, you know, the meeting has ended, and I would like to thank a few people. So uh, especially, I would like to uh, thank um, Pastor Jiffy and uh, Dr. Samia uh, for coming here, for taking your time out uh, to share the word with us. It really means a lot to us, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you, uh, Pastor uh, Jiffy, for leading us in worship. It was very, um, it was a blessing for each and every one of us, so thank you. Um, I would like to thank Sneha for, um, you know, leading us in an icebreaker. It was very exciting, and thanks for all the participants that actively participated there. Um, well done to you all, and may God bless you. Thanks to Brother Noah, 
Bill for helping us with our prayer for nations and uh, pray for a friend. Um, thank you for doing that, Noel. May, may God bless you. Um, a special thanks to Esther Chichi for doing our Slido um, for our Q&A session. Uh, thank you so much, Esther Chichi, and may God bless you. And then, you know, last of all, uh, thanks to everyone who has joined. You know, I, I hope that this meeting was a blessing for you and that every word that you heard here, um, you use it for your daily lives, um, especially when we're, you know, stuck at home. It actually is a great privilege um, for God to give us this opportunity to come together from different parts of the world and to hear from his word. So whenever we have these meetings, I encourage you all to uh, come again and to learn from the word. So thank you all for joining once again. Um, please fill out the feedback form if you can. Uh, the link is provided in the chat box and may God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Amazing job. Uh, did any of you guys have uh, results coming out this week? We have a geek in a miss and let's thank God for uh, Christine. Christine, how much percentage did you get in your uh, A-levels? Is it I called as A-levels there? Yeah, it's actually a uh, leaving cert. We call it the leaving cert, but by his grace, I got a uh, 98%. 98% that is you know in India it's called as a 12th standard uh, here no what do we call this a levels right yes yeah a levels yeah a levels so 98% man she's a genius isn't it no it yeah. was only by his grace it really was uh, we couldn't do our exams this year it was actually predicted grades but um you know it was according to as well so i really thank god for that amazing yeah. well done well done let's give her a round of clap yeah, well done, Christine. You know we are proud of you. You know, it, 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 it's so evident when you take a step of faith for God. God does stuff for you. you amen, know? amen, and, amen. And, uh, you know, even in our studies, when we are so active, um, look at uh, Esther. You know, she's taken a taken a day off her job. Uh, you know, who uh, gives that kind of a dedication? Uh, you know, each one of you. I want to really thank you, team members. Well done. It's only because of you guys that we are able to uh, reach out and do a lot of stuff. Pastor Jiffy, I've been dreaming of having you on this show for a long time, and it's lovely to have you on board. I uh, really uh, hope uh, this is the first of the many. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. It's my privilege, and I really enjoyed being with you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I know it's so late in India. Uh, what's the time like, Pastor? 12.35. Wow, look at him. <laughs> He's holding it there, isn't it? Uh, special <laughs> thanks to Sister for sharing you with us, you know, so late in the time there. And uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, Dr. Soumya, uh, appreciate you, you know. Uh, you are uh, one of the, um, uh, you know, prominent evangelists that will be coming out of UK. Okay, uh, so the girls that I see here, Esther, Abigail, Sneha, Christine, uh, um, Dr. Soumya, uh, you know, you are the future. Uh, look at the way uh, Noel uh, did his stuff. I know he has great and mighty things in uh, store, store for him. Yeah, and many more. And look at the way Joshua prayed, you know, um, amazing his uh, upcoming uh, man of God yes young man I, I know your your video is not on but uh, we really love to have you um, and thank you for contributing in the way of prayer and um, you know what made you um, uh, choose a Sri Lanka uh, no. oh, sorry yeah yeah I don't I um I don't know actually. I just it's a fear. It's some fear feeling that I got. I don't know if it's uh, what it was. It's, it's the feeling that I got that made me want to choose. Nothing in particular, no. Well, well, well done because um, I've been uh, thinking of Sri Lanka and presenting. I've asked a few people to present Sri Lanka, but you volunteered to do that. So <laughs> it's amazing. It, it means you know God is speaking to us about Sri Lanka, and uh, let's. Pray for the youths in that country 
that load that we'll be able to really reach out to those uh, youths in the coming days uh, next week i have esther speaking to us uh, from the word uh, you uh, uh, taken a particular topic isn't it what are you going to speak on esther if you while, while he may be found aha uh -huh. while he may be found uh, Abigail is in the pipeline as well uh, before she flies off to um, her uh, you know uh, medical carrier in Romania uh, hopefully she'll share the word with us uh, hope she, yeah, she she's able to zoom on to her topic as well thank you pastor Jiffy uh, we love you we appreciate you and we want to see more more of you okay bless you pastor thank you so, um, uh, Dr. Soumya, um, before I come to Abigail, uh, Dr. Soumya, how, how, how did you find the Zoom meeting? Was this your first uh, Zoom meeting that you were uh, speaking in? No, well, uh, for speaking, uh, maybe for our church uh, groups, for, for youths. Okay, so you've done it. You're just kidding me, won't you? <laughs> there were things that went wrong, uh, like my laptop broke down, my presentation collapsed. So it, were... <laughs> it only means you're going to get a new one. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, it's just a drop of water for my uh, MacBook Air and 220 pounds. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, bit of bit, Last bit of your... it, my, uh, my 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 daughter had it, and then um, suddenly it freezed. So we just found oh. out our um, uh, and <laughs> my presentation as <laughs> well. <laughs> just just keep it in the sun for a bit, and uh, yeah. your your hot air gun might help as well a little bit. Mm, uh, well, <laughs> for uh, I think uh, for Dell it did work for me. But yeah. then this one, <laughs> so you, you, know, yeah. you know, in the middle of my, you know, having two kids around, it's great fun. <laughs> what was your thesis on, uh, please, if you don't mind me um, asking? Uh, uh, yeah, it was it, it was on um, uh, drug designing. You know, we uh, we uh, as as a group of um, uh, projects uh, aiming on uh, how to mimic this uh, peptide so there are lots of drugs which are uh, trying to mimic what god created you know uh, from simple 23 amino acids he created so many many proteins and peptides so my aim was just to mimic one and i found it hard <laughs> right so uh, you might be the right person to ask uh, and how how close are we to the vaccine? Is your company into uh, that no, at all? No, my, uh, my company right now is working on mostly gen generic medicines. So we don't have that much research into, into this innovative part as such. But vaccine, uh, I think recently it has been held because there is some uh, drug reactions for uh, the Oxford one. Yeah, it's been yeah, held yeah. because there's some, uh, some bad reactions. That, that's all I know. I don't know much about uh, so, so guys if you are into uh, you know chemistry drugs medicine you know who to go to <laughs> yeah. so esther if you want a special one done there you go <laughs> just kidding hopefully uh, this will be the first of many uh, uh, sister somia um, and uh, you know <laughs> we would love to uh, hear Thank from you. Thank you everyone for bearing me. I was too fast. I was trying to finish within 20 minutes lots of things. <laughs> yeah, and apologies with the uh, presentation because I was doing so many things. I was sharing on the mobile at the last minute, you know, uh, so, and then uh, I was doing the presentation. So my apologies for this. I should have dedicated <laughs> it to someone uh, before the meeting. Um, yeah and uh, yeah. let me come I, to i promise that uh, next time will be more, bit more organized <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so um yeah noel how did you find this experience of coordinating the prayer amazing way you done, done it well done job well done yeah it was great i really, I really enjoyed it yeah i also finding out about the nation is very interesting as well so yeah really enjoyed it thank yeah thank you it was great yes, yeah yes 
So next week, who's gonna host it for me? Silence. <laughs> All right. Who's going to do the activity next week? Yeah, the speaker is an amazing speaker. He goes very far with me. We grew up together in uh, the land of Pune, uh, same church, and now he's based in Omaha, uh, U.S. Um, so in the guard and a so into the marketplace as well, a minister in the marketplace. Um, Pastor Jason. Jason Samuel. So he will be one. We're bringing in a very unique topic uh, on generational gap. Do we have a generational gap in our churches? In our oh, homes? Yeah. <laughs> always. Yeah, always? That's what I think. Pardon me? We didn't That's catch what you. I think. That's what you're facing. That's what I think. <laughs> That's what you think. Okay. <laughs> All right. So who's doing the hosting? Who's going to do the prayer? Who's going to coordinate the prayer for us? Here someone is uh, getting ready for a night out night shift no you don't want to lead prayer okay anybody want to do the slide demo Esther, Esther, is doing, Esther is giving a message uh, but it doesn't tie with the gen generation thingy Mm -hmm. So I think I might bump you, bump you to another day. Is that okay? Yeah. Unless you want to change your message. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll leave it at that. I think uh, Christine and Sneha want to take a gap. <laughs> they. No, I just I'd... don't know. I just don't know if I'm home next week. That's the only thing. Not a problem. So if I am, I'll volunteer for something. I'll text you privately. Not a problem. Yeah, yeah. same here. I'm just a bit busy next week, so. Not yeah. a problem. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this time seems to have affected us because uh, when we did it at uh, five, five, we had a lot more people, isn't it? We had. Yeah, uh, that's true. So yeah, that's really really really. Yeah, so. I'm not sure. Shall we go back to five? If we go back to five, can we finish like earlier? Or are we just like going to do like the same like duration of time? Like if it's just we, a question. If we start at five, we should be able to finish by six thirty, seven, maximum yeah, seven. Six thirty. Yeah, I think. Six thirty yeah. is what I'll zoom in. Yeah. yeah, I think maybe that might be a bit better because maybe people need to go to bed earlier. You know, the younger kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here school has started, so I thought five might be a bit early. Yeah. People shouldn't come back from school by four o'clock. Then five might be a bit too much. But yeah, let's try it out for a few mm -hmm. times. Uh, All right. how, about, how about Saturdays? Will Saturdays be a better time? Um, Saturdays, we usually have like a, like like a few churches here. We have Sunday school on Saturdays. At like five, that's the only thing. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, do like we do like morning, you know? Yeah, definitely. Thank you for your feedback. And uh, yeah, I'll put it in the uh, our chat, the online chat. And uh, yeah, if you're free, uh, just hook on to it. Thank you, everyone. Thank God you bless so you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 God bless you. Bye. Bye. Well done, team. Awesome.